Oh, <laughs> hit that, hit that uh, subscribe button. Thank you, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that'll be a thousand dollars. I'll pay. It. I'll pay the toll. I'll pay the toll for this. This is worth it. <laughs> Yeah, we'll have to work out the percentage rates when you get your thousand followers. Tell Joey to subscribe to your channel. That will cost you one thousand dollars. <laughs> don't forget to just don't for, don't forget to <laughs> subscribe to the Poetic Minecart. Yes. <laughs> All right, hey everybody, it's JT here from the Poetic Minecart. Uh, sorry, I, I'm already a little energy drained. <laughs> so today is a big day, possibly one of the biggest days on my channel, actually. Um, this will be, uh, this is another interview for the FNAF Fanatics interviewed series. Um, but today, we're kind of deviating from the path a little bit. This is not a Five Nights at Freddy's related interview, as the previous ones have been. I have, uh, through the glorious, well, once glorious platform known as Twitter, have, uh, gained contact with an official voice actor from the Bendy and the Ink Machine franchise. And, uh, today, he has graced us with his presence and some mic troubles, um, and we are going to, uh, today be interviewing, uh, we're going to be interviewing Dave Revis, the voice of Joey Drew in Bendy and the Dark Revival. Alright, I'm gonna show you guys him right now in three, two, one, there he is! <laughs> The voice of Joey Drew. Meh, meh, meh. <laughs> <laughs> Joey Drew. Meh, yeah, that's it. I'm Joey Drew. Meh, meh, meh. <laughs> I, that, that's the sound of Joey Drew. Joey Drew playing the game, right? Yes, that's that's. That. Yeah, meh, 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 when Joey. <laughs> <laughs> that's like the arcade version when he comes on screen. He's like meh, 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 meh. <laughs> I like that he's got to go, meh, meh. <laughs> that's like his, that's his like, yeah, that's like his, his evil dialogue. Meh, meh, meh. <laughs> I don't, I don't think, I don't think Joey Drew ever laughed during the No, I don't think he game, ever has. So, I don't think so he has. So who knows, that's probably his real laugh. That's probably what he sounds like. So meh, yes, guys, meh, this is, this is, this to my left here is, um, the incredible voice actor Dave Revis. I hope I'm pronouncing it right this whole time. That's it. That's okay. Right. Yeah. This is Dave Revis. He is not just the voice of Joey Drew. Um, I do have. I did want to show you guys. Um, in my screenshots folder, I have a list of other parts, and I forgot to get it up before this. So we can see the lovely, the lovely things he's been in in the past. Um, where is it? Where is it? <laughs> Technical difficulties on my end. All right, so you guys may know him as the voice of Joey Drew in Bendy in the Dark <laughs> Revival. <laughs> um, the the next listed is something called Undocumented. Um, he played oh. the dad. In undocumented. Yeah, that, that was a that was a film. That was a short. He film. was uh, uh, he was in Strider, the he was in the game Strider. Uh, oh. he was in Nancy Drew, Ghost of Thornton Hall, mm -hmm. as Colton Birchfield. He Colton was, Birchfield. Colton he, Birchfield. He was in Cap Captara, as Erasmus. Is that right? Aptara. Yeah, that was uh actually I think that was a like a short animated film. Oh. That was so long ago. Uh he Yeah, if you're looking at my IMD page, it's like uh the look at the date on it. It's like 2001 or something. Ah, he was in uh Amnesia the Dark Descent. It's a um people people know that game. People like yeah. that game, so they might, they might, yeah. some sleuths might find your voice hidden in there somewhere. 
Um, I, I, I think in that game, I'm down, down, down deep, like in a morgue or yeah, something like that. Yeah, it says man in morgue. <laughs> yeah, That's yeah, the yeah, character, yeah. man in morgue. And I know yeah. it's not in this list, but there was some uh, Call of Cthulhu thing that he was in. Oh yeah, that was, I, was yeah. that was that was listed as one of your most well knowns in on yeah. IMDb. But yeah, yeah, those are just a few of the things you I may was, know uh, this man from. <laughs> I was Zadok, Zadok in Call of Cthulhu. If you're roaming around the streets, you'll go and you'll find some drunk guy that's <laughs> kind of urinating on a wall, <laughs> and that is Zadok. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> um, I, but eventually, yeah. the, the 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 probably the biggest other voice that I'm known for, and um, is I am the voice of Captain Vakel Sean oh, of the yes. USS Enterprise in the S Star Trek and Star game Trek Online. In the online, yes. Yeah. I forgot and I'm, about I'm, that. I'm a I'm a bunch of characters on Star Trek Online and have been for. Gosh, about 13 14 years yeah um but but i'm actually the captain of the enterprise which is cool that's pretty cool <laughs> the enterprise f enterprise f yeah i never myself really got into star trek all that much but i think i can appreciate the bravity of the role <laughs> yeah yeah I, yeah 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 it's it seems like a pretty cool like a pretty cool gig yeah i uh I've I've been a huge Star Trek fan my whole life, and um, and then when I finally got a shot at, at this role, I you got just it. Took it. I well, I got it. You know, I auditioned yeah, for yeah, it like many other it. people, and then I and then I got it, and then so it, it's kind of fun to to drop that every now and yeah. then. Yeah, you know? I'm the I'm it's, the it's, voice of the captain. I'm the, the voice. And, I'm the captain of the Enterprise, guys. <laughs> and what what I've always thought is. If Vakel Sean ever does make it to a live action version, like in the series, uh -huh. in any of the series or on in the movies, I know I will be, it'll be recast and it'll be like, yeah, like, who knows? The it'll be like the betrayal. It'll be Dwayne yeah, it'll Johnson. Be like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It'll be the rock. <laughs> it, yeah. It'd, it'd be the oh rock. Oh my God. Oh my God! Yeah, well, he's blue. I mean, the Rock and Kevin he's Hart. Kevin yeah, he's, Hart yeah, he's is Spock. With, uh, antenna. Oh my God! <laughs> I, yeah. Oh boy. I, I, I better stop talking about it right there because I don't want to share my feelings yeah. on how uh, that would go. Is but, it? But, but, but I was going to get at is the Enterprise mm -hmm. F is coming to Picard season three, Ooh. so it's going to be interesting to see what happens there. Eventually. Is it ill-conceived to say that Joey Drew is your most well-known role and the game's only been out a few months? I feel like, well, aside from the Enterprise F, Captain, yeah. I feel like yeah. that because that has already become one of the biggest things. Yeah, it, yeah, it's it's pretty huge. And when the game finally dropped, just, I think just before Thanksgiving, yeah, um, it was like ever November since 16th. then, yeah. November 15th yeah. uh ever since then the myself and the playing. and the rest <laughs> the rest of the cast has been riding this whole yeah, fandom this big wave. tsunami of 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 like teenagers just oh it, it's just been big, amazing just big horror fans I mean I've had fans for games before and characters uh, and answer your question it depends on the fandom of that particular yeah, game or genre like, of yeah. game because i've had fans before um and uh for different games like like there's a there's a nancy drew uh fandom and mm -hmm. i was on a podcast just a couple months ago and they were freaking out over this colton character i played and uh, -huh. uh and then and there was another uh nancy drew game where i was abdullah like the greatest archaeologist in the world and uh and they were like when i would do that voice they're like oh my god he's doing the voice and that's cool i love that i appreciate that I... so it, dep it depends on the game so but but uh bendy and Joey Drew in the Dark Revival, or Joey Drew and Bendy in the Dark Revival, <laughs> is definitely it's definitely <laughs> Joey huge. in and the Dark a, Revival. <laughs> that that's the sequel. That's coming. That's the sequel. I hope. 
I I would like to see more Joey content in the future. I think I absolutely would too. Like imagine a little spin-off game about his whole story. That'd be pretty cool. Well, that's exactly what I was telling the cast. Remember I said we uh -huh. after that uh, that video released, we all had like a little cast party. Well, that's <laughs> what I was saying what should happen next. And you know, because the game it might there's some crossovers into reality and stuff like that. Yeah. But even with the original Bendy and the Ink Machine, there's already been this huge history of what's already happened oh, uh, I... at the Joey Drew Studio. So I think an, a sequel should go into back in that. The past, like, back in like the like, 30s. Back before yeah, like, it became all this inky mess, maybe even. Yeah. Like the beginning yeah, when it was of the all... Ink Machine. In in uh, the Bendy heyday and when the yes, studios launched, when the studio and when, was alive, and the and when Joey were first being started made, losing you know, his making, mind. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. When he started kind of when the that's what I'd like to see. Um, yeah, I I did have a question. So I was trying to figure this out. I'm pretty sure, but I just wanted to double check. You did not voice Joey in the first game, right? That was David Reddings, right, or Eddings. It was Ed David Eddings. I think it was and, Eddings. Uh, I was trying to yeah. figure out if you voiced the younger Joey that had one one single tape in the whole game at the very end. But I wasn't sure. I didn't think it was you. I thought it was David. That's that possible. I know I came in on chapter five. Remember when okay, they then came it might out have in been, chapters? Okay, then I think it, it was. It might have been. I've never heard it, but... Uh, the, a lot of times, a lot of times in voiceover, you're re requ requested to do what's what we call sound alikes, which mm -hmm. are basically impressions. Yeah. And and they contacted me and said, we have this role, Joey Drew, and and can you sound like this? Which was the, the voice older of guy, Eddings. Yeah. Where David he's like, Eddings. Well, we followed two different roads of our own making. You are a lonely bummer. <laughs> and then he went, and you're like, <laughs> and then he went, <laughs> well, and you're like, I can no, do I, that. I can throw some mass. <laughs> there, 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 you know, of course, I listened to samples of that voice, and I don't know why it was recast at all, and I've, I don't ask or yeah, anything like I that. But, yeah. But, I it, my Joey Drew voice is definitely based on uh, David Eddings, and uh, if I, it weren't, for, I don't know where he is now or what he's doing. But if it weren't for him, um, you, we would we would yeah. we wouldn't have the Joey that we have now. Because I think so, that there was, because there is a line at the end where he's like, "It's simply awe-inspiring what one can achieve with their own mind." And then I think that's you, because it's a younger Joey. He's like, "There's one thing Bendy has never known. He was there for his beginning, but he's never seen the end." Yeah, and I think it might be you, but I can't tell. There, the first recordings were very much like that. It was something like, um, um, like a lump of clay could turn to meaning if you strangle it with enough enthusiasm. Yeah, it's, it was something like believe. You just need to believe. Yeah. Oh, but there he comes. Gone. You just gotta believe. And, and, and then, <laughs> and, and then, then he said, "Man." <laughs> but th but then the first time I know for sure that uh, it was definitely me from then on was there was a YouTube video that was released. It was it was a preview. It was a trailer for when they thought uh, the sequel was going to come out three years ago. Oh yeah, and it's, I forgot. And that it's was. and it's a video called "From the Desk of Joey Drew," oh. and it's just a, a two minute you. recording. It's just a, the video is a tape recorder, and it just plays. And then it, that's me, and it's been me from then on. And that was the begin. That was the birth of your Joey. That was the beginning. And now, what's interesting with the Bendy in the Dark revival, it's a it's like a, a memory, a cartoon uh, version of Joey. So it's interesting yeah, to see what's going to happen. He's the inky next. memory of Joey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's it's going to be interesting to see what happens next oh before we get too deep into this interview guys i do want to tell you uh mr rivas here is uh starting up i think he might have already started rehearsals for uh uh the show anything goes um it's a good musical he's playing i think his character is elisha whitney right yeah 
All yeah, right. very He's good. playing Elisha Whitney. I wasn't sure if it was Alicia or Elisha. I get. I just went yeah. with my gut. So he's playing a character of Elisha Whitney in uh, Anything Goes. The performances are, I think it's February... Is it the 17th? I think it's February 11th. 11th through... Or 10th through the through March 12th. March 12th, okay. And At he, San Diego and Musical It's in Theater. the San Diego Musical Theater. Uh, yeah. So if any of you guys, I know a lot of my viewers are in California, so if any of you live in the San Diego area, you should definitely go see him and say, hey, I'm from that interview that went down a couple weeks ago. Uh, <laughs> so you should walk up, you should, you should walk up to him if after the show and just go, meh, <laughs> and they'll, he'll know, he'll know where you come from. He'll know, he'll know the I'll truth. Know I'll know that JT sent you. Yes, he'll know that, that the poetic minecart has sent you there. That the poetic I, minecart. Yes, that I hath sent you forth as my inky minions. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, you know, I haven't even asked any of my pre-written questions yet, and we're just bouncing off yeah. each other so well. We're just, we're just <laughs> jamming. This is just a good interview. It's really this nice. This is a jam session, you know? This yeah. is just a vocal jam. It's just... <laughs> We, I, I gotta tell you guys, um, I know I, I, I said I wouldn't mention this, but uh, we were we were messing around for about 30 minutes before recording this, and Dave's mic just wouldn't work for like 30 minutes. I, I recorded a tiny little bit of it so you can hear a little bit of his choppy mic, and I'll put in little clips of it right now of just... At check two. Uh, checking. It, I can... Check. Wait. Is it still jacked up? It's now it sounds like a drive through again. That's so weird. Well, it's not terrible. Um, yeah, try unplugging check, it and check, plugging check, it back check, in again. Check, 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 check. It's not as good as what we just had on Zoom, but it's it's bearable. I don't like that. <laughs> you don't like just bearable. You like it to be good. I like it to sound like a recording studio. Hold on a second. Yeah. Like that record, like that there recording studio. <clears throat> that any better? Nope. Same. You know, it might be this mic. I got another mic. Hold on a second. I got, I got a bunch of other mics. <laughs> Let me grab my backup mic. No, let me grab my backup backup. Your it's your call, but I told you uh, <laughs> last time I went on Discord, this whole thing happened, and everyone, the whole cast of Bendy and the Dark Revival, is all partying and stuff. And you're and just I'm, like, I'm like, ah, 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 ah. I'm like, I'm like, hey man, I'm, I put this whole thing together, man. You like, hey, how are you do it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But is this okay? Yeah, it's it's pretty good. Okay. Wow. That's, <laughs> that sound that sounds really reassuring. It's it's good, man. <laughs> I just it's like it was like going through uh, like a like an old Jack in the Box drive through or something. I was gonna say earlier when you were saying how you uh, you're like, hey, I'm kind of cool. I was the captain on the Enterprise. I was like, and did you say that in? I was like, if you, I was thinking if you tried to say that in the after party, they just go, I what the cat yeah. eh, on yeah. <laughs> It's so weird. I don't, I don't know, know what it is with, with <laughs> Discord. I've had these problems. Like, uh, I, you know what? I've been recording voiceover for about for like 23 20, years. Yeah, like 20-ish years. 23, 24 years. And, uh, and, I, I, and over the last five or six years, I do most of it here in this, yeah. in this room with this equipment. So and it's just not yeah. being nice to you. It's it's that's never happened before, um, except for you know our cast. I party. did want to. I wanted to bring up. Uh, I wanted to bring up Frogger. I wanted to ask oh. you. I wanted to ask you like how that kind of came about because that was the wasn't that the first Frogger game that had voices in it that was kind of yeah. like an open world Frogger game. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. You were, there was in like what two thousand two, I think, is when that yeah. happened. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it I think it released in 2002 um 
That was crazy. That was my first big hit. Uh, my first. It's big a pretty classroom. big character. I mean. Yeah, because so, before this, before my Frogger, Frogger was just like on the Atari. The arcade game. It was like the arcade, arcade game, Atari. and it just and it was just. It was just like, a little eight bit. Yeah. Yeah. And you would go across the logs, across the freeway, across. Yeah, the but river now you. But, in the, but he was. This is the very first ever voice of Frogger. Like. Yeah. It's. Yeah, I think that's was, pretty cool. He was a stand-up frogger, and they de they uh, they described him as like a stand-up swashbuckling <laughs> Raiders of the Lost Ark type frogger. Uh, if you've played the game, I'm kind of sorry how it turned out <laughs> because I mean it didn't go anywhere. They made different versions for different platforms after that. I would but... I would ask if you could give us a little sample, but I feel like I'd be sued out of existence. So oh no, uh, that's that was like I think by atari or a claim or someone like that like over 20 years ago when i first went into frogger this is a voice acting lesson okay okay the 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 voice of frogger this is a whole lesson in, in voice acting because you picture like what does a frog sound like it's, it, <laughs> like yeah like ribbity it, it, type yeah yeah it has all that and yeah. then you look at the picture and you see what he looks like how cute he's, he is he's, and it's this he's cute little and guy and you're like and he can't sound guy. all ugly like that you know right so i wanted to do like a real high pitch voice but what happens is in the world of voiceover you can't you you have to choose a voice that is sustainable and that you could at least carry on throughout the session. And what if it just happens to be successful and it goes on for like the next 20 years? I mean, are yeah. you going to be able to sustain that? Are you be able so to keep I, that going? So my original thought was to be way up there, but I, there's no way I could do that. So I just kind of brought it down to where it was kind of comfortable. And then he was like, and then, I know frog food. And, uh, <laughs> and that was the frogger. He would go, hi, little buddy. And then I would like hit peaks of like that, that high, high like little boy. Hi, little buddy. <laughs> hi, little buddy. But then yeah. it would be about down in here. And so what's weird, what's really weird is this is the voice of Joey Drew. <laughs> <laughs> but, but that's, that was the Frogger voice. Uh, oh, and then what was interesting about that game too, is he had to save the princess and he when he finally got to the end the arch nemesis that he fought was the evil dr sarkenstein which i also played so i was having this you know boss battle with myself and and dr sarkenstein was pretty much just a rip off of uh, austin powers so <laughs> dr sarkenstein kind of sounded like that the whole time um so that that was frogger i just i just wish that uh it had gone the somewhere. Game, yeah, the game had done better, and that would have been uh, that would have been cool. Yeah, it. I mean, it was really, really cute, and and it was it was done. It was good at the time. I mean, yeah, for the two for the for the very early two thousands, it, it was pretty yeah. good. Yeah, technology uh, just kind of blew past it, and they went to other extremes really fast. I think. Yeah. But, that 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 did kind of happen, didn't it? Yeah, but. But again, that's another one I can drop. Like, hey, I, I'm the voice of Frogger. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I know frog food. And it's like the same. I love how that's literally almost the same as Joey. <laughs> yeah. It's very similar. <laughs> yeah. And that's that that happens too. You just you a hear, pencil in our you, dream. <laughs> you you hear hints of of characters bleeding over. Into, yeah, if it's one, uh, if it, if a voice actor plays another character, chances are you'll hear a bit of every other character in their voice because it's yeah, the same person. Yeah. I okay. I'm gonna ask the first official pre-written question of the interview now. Oh my gosh! Here we go. Okay, interview starting. And the interview's starting 30 minutes in. Let's go. Woohoo! Woo -hoo. All right. I wanted I wanted to ask, but you already answered this. How long have you been a voice actor? And it's been about 23 years. So yeah, I already yeah. kind of got that from you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been about 23 years. Um, it was uh, the 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 industry's changed so much. Uh, everything's done at home now, and you gotta to be a successful voice actor you gotta have uh some you know some engineering skills now uh back in the days when i you gotta, started you gotta have a good microphone <laughs> yeah back then oh my gosh you couldn't afford a microphone and 
you were just the talent and you had to know yeah. you had to know some audio engineers so they could you could go record at their house you had to have or, connections or their studio and so they could burn you some cds or, <laughs> or make you a tape or something yeah but um yeah I, well frogger started frogger came out like in 2001 or two so it's been a while mm -hmm. and before that i think my very first game ever was a helicopter game a helicopter sortie game called um, gunship Gun and it was real basic it's my first lines ever in professional voiceover acting was left left right fire you know that type of thing <laughs> yeah sounds, coming sounds in like hot fun. coming in hot you know that type of stuff <laughs> yeah about yeah about 23 years or so ah okay um all right what made you want to be an actor who was your inspiration what like inspired you to do this um, that's a pretty good question. Um, I, I knew I wanted to be an actor, uh, mm -hmm. from the time I was about maybe seven or eight years old, uh, just watching TV back when we used to have just Saturday morning cartoons. <laughs> and then after that, uh, local channels would have like old movies on and I would see like Abbott and Costello and Danny Kaye movies and um, there was a, a the a musical an old musical with, uh, of Guys and Dolls with Marlon Brando mm. and uh, Frank Sinatra when I saw that the opening sequence of that movie I was about seven or eight years old and I'm like oh my gosh it's like I, I want to do I, this <laughs> I want to do that and uh I, I gravitated towards it. Uh, towards my theater, whole... towards, yeah. Yeah, theater, like in junior high. I, high I, I, had a, I want to be a, a, an actor, too. I, I'd be good with doing voice acting or stage acting or movie acting. I'll do anything. Voice yeah. acting would be most fun, I think, because I love doing voices. Yeah. But um, I, I didn't really... I kind of hopped late in on the bandwagon. I didn't get into theater at all until I was in seventh grade. That's yes, great. <laughs> because yeah. I I saw that my my middle school was doing Beauty and the Beast Junior, mm -hmm. um and I my dad said hey you should audition kind of as a joke, and I yeah. and I did it and I got Lumiere the candlestick. You can nice. see you can see the costume up here. There's candles right here. Wait, let me let me let, let me un, let me unblur it real quick. Wait. There, there's my costume. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like a like your it's, for your it's hands? for my head and that one up there is for my hands yeah that's so cool it was it yeah. was pretty great um that's but how it starts that's how it's the, the minute i walked out on stage on opening night and got my first laughs from the audience because we just had to pretend to be and i just shuffled forward towards the front of the yeah. stage and everybody yeah. burst out laughing and i was like this is what i want to do this is what Keep i need to do i Keep i doing it okay um so uh, next question. Where did you go to college for acting if you, like, went to college for it or if you went to any kind of school for acting or theater? Because I, I need... This is mostly a personal question <laughs> for me. <laughs> well, actually, it, for for acting, I mean, there's a lot of conservatory-type schools and things like that you can go to. Mm -hmm. But the route I've gone is just staying involved in theater, whether it's in school or whether it's with local companies in your town or the local colleges or whatever. And if you don't have any of that, you get people that are like-minded uh, and have a, a passion for performing and you put together your own stuff. Um, so I acted in in high school and right out of high school, I started getting cast in, in local theater productions mm -hmm. and some professional productions, but I was like 17 or 18 at the time acting with 40 and 50 year olds that were working as waiters to get gas money to go to rehearsal. And I'm like, I don't want to do that, you know? And then I really couldn't handle the rejection because being an actor, you know, you got to audition and then you, and it's, it's tough when you get rejected. You, it's it, yeah. Well, you, you, if you, you're know, you going to make the call back and then are you going to get cast and, there's there's a lot of uh, stress. Yes, and it was, it's, and, it, yeah. and, it, 
and it freaked me out at the time and i'm like i don't know if i want to keep doing this so to play it safe i went into emergency medicine at uh, the age of 19. so i became an emt and paramedic and then i started working for the fire department and for the last this this has all been going on since like the mid 80s and uh and so for the last 25 years i was a 911 dispatcher at the san diego fire department and so i i recently retired from there about a year and a half ago but my thing is i i uh i always had like the stable job to keep an income and and to get you know my house and and my car and all that stuff and get the bills paid but when i get off of those gigs like say if I if I'm done being a 911 operator at six o'clock in the evening, by seven o'clock I'm at some theater around town rehearsing or performing, and that's how that went. So I've I've been I've worked in just about every theater in San Diego. Um, I've been in a lot of recording studios in mm -hmm. San Diego in Orange County. Um, my dad lived in San Diego for a while when he was uh, still a music artist back in nice. back in the like n back in like 97 98 and then you and, and then, then he met my mom and then he, he met my mom and he migrated to Fresno and then I was born and then we migrated to Florida and then when I turned eight we migrated back here to uh turlock which is right next to modesto but yeah 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 that's cool that's cool and i i don't know what the theater scene is up there but um you, eh. you yes you it's, know it's eh. it, it, if it's eh, there's some creative. local theaters but it's not yeah. that good yeah well create what what you do i used to do a lot of my work at um San Diego Repertory Theater is was kind of like my home base. Mm -hmm. um, I, I've been in many shows there, and I had a small theater group there called Amigos del Rep, <laughs> and um, that that opened a bunch of doors. And I've done work at the La Jolla Playhouse and a um, little bit of stuff at the Old Globe Theater here in San Diego. And uh, so my route was to stay involved in theater and keep looking for what's happening out there and whatever you like uh try to get involved and if there's nothing happening create what you want to create and and ask some friends of yours to just come over to the house and yeah. assign parts and put something together and then you call around and see if there's like a location that'll let you use their space to to put on like a one act show or a night of monologues or something like that. Yeah. Um, or, you know, spoken word or something like that. Get a friend with a guitar or, you know, uh, someone that uh, can run sound for you. And that that's how, that's how you do it. That's how you create theater. Uh, theater is, is, is like my, my gym, my workout place where I go and I learn all my acting, um, uh, skills and to be a good voice act actor you need to be just a good actor yeah so uh stick with it just get involved and 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 if you can't find something create something with with other people that want to with you and if yeah. writing's not your thing you know you ask around and you'll find friends that have stuff they've written and they want to you know hey let's just read this hey and see let's do this and see what comes of it yeah yeah Thank you. That's very that's insightful, and I definitely am going to take that to heart. And I'm I'm gonna try and be a voice actor. Like I I can I'm gonna shoot for it. Maybe we'll work on something together someday. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe if that ma -a -a game comes out. <laughs> <laughs> that ma -a -a. is anybody. Does anybody even know? No one has knows the context. Just, no one has the okay. No one has the context unless they've seen my playthrough of Bendy. Okay. They have to have seen the video, and I'm not gonna tell you guys which one, so you can't just skip to it and find it. You have to watch the whole series to find the joke. <laughs> so, so, so until then. Until then, is, it's our inside it's joke. It's an us thing. thing. It's an us thing. Yeah. 
the the man <laughs> lives in us. <laughs> we got a thing, man. We we, we have thing. we have a thing. We're besties now. <laughs> <laughs> that's so awesome oh, i love it i love it see i was going to put a little clip of it for you guys in the video but s no i'm gonna make you watch my content because i need views so i can eventually yeah. earn money off this crap <laughs> yeah nice Do it. <laughs> i'm on my way i've been doing this stuff for six and a half years i'm on my way <laughs> I just, That's I just cool. gotta, I just gotta get, I just gotta get a thousand subs and I can start making money. Nice. <sighs> I'm nice. at, I'm at like 630, I think right now. Oh, so. you know what? That's awesome. I, I know nothing about any of that. Maybe, maybe this interview will help, will give me a little boost. Maybe, maybe Bendy fans will find this. Well, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, next question that I have written down. So, I don't know if you ever really played video games, but I wanted to ask if you, like, ever really did, like, have a, a play video games, what your favorite video game is and why. I'm constantly playing a little bit of this and that. Like, on my, on my iPad and on my phone, I'm always playing something. Mm -hmm. Um, like, just, like, quick free downloads, I'm always playing something. Um, I think the very first video game that got me hooked when, like, I started dreaming about it was Tetris. <laughs> yeah, uh, that makes sense. That yeah, and and, and it might have even just been the ding, 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 ding the music ding, ding, in it. Ding, yeah. ding, 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 My ding, choir ding, teacher ding, has ding. this little like this little. Bre like breathing piano it's this little handheld piano that you breathe into to make it play and you can play oh. the tetris theme on it <laughs> nice it's pretty cool and i'll I, I have a video of it i'll put i'll put this in the video so the viewers can see what i'm talking about and i'll I'll show, ding, I'll show you later. Ding, um, it sounds kind of like bat, like an accordion, but it's just it's just a little breathing piano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I think the first game genre that really hooked me were I'd start playing as soon as I get up, and the next thing I know, it's dark outside again. Was like the whole Age of Empires series. Oh uh, real yeah, real time strategy uh, on PC. Mm -hmm. blew my mind just i went nuts and then i was off and running and then i actually around that time i started doing voiceover mm -hmm. and i i was doing a lot of like shooter games or whatever kind of games they were but um i i never made any real-time strategy games mm -hmm. um there's there's one i can't remember what it was it was like age of something uh Oh gosh, I can't remember it, but um, but I was all excited because like, hey, yeah, this is my favorite type of game, and now I'm mm -hmm. actually voicing one. Um, but then recently, I'd say like in the last ten years, my favorite series, and I'm sorry, Bendy and Star Trek fan, Nancy <laughs> Drew, everybody else, I'm sorry. But the one, my favorite, favorite, favorite games of all time, the series is Bioshock. Oh, okay, that's a fair answer. No, that's that's a I'm, good answer. I am Bioshock is a great about answer. Bioshock and then uh, Dead Space blew my Dead mind. Dead Space, oh my gosh! Have they're you seen re, this? Have, have you seen the, redoing it? Have you? Oh, really? There's a new game that came out recently uh, that's very reminiscent of Dead Space called uh, the Calypso Protocol. Oh no, I've heard of that. I haven't. I haven't played it yet. It's very much like Dead Space. I think they're rebooting or remastering, or they're just making a sequel to Dead to Dead Space. It, it's uh, uh, it's coming out, I think, this year, later this year. Oh, really? And I'm really excited for that. Uh, so, I because of Bioshock and Dead Space and like Red Dead Redemption, those type of things, that's kind of got me into first person shooter. Mm -hmm. And and then luckily Bendy came along, and that's right in that vein. So it's kind of in that area. Um, would you ever find yourself playing Bendy? Like, would you play a for like a horror game like that? Would you ever find yourself sitting down and playing Dark Revival? 
would I ever play it? Yeah, like, is it something that you would enjoy playing, or would you, or do you not, are you not really, the like, the horror game type like that? Oh, no, 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 I, uh, the horror genre. Well, uh, yeah, never mind, Dead Space, Bioshock, yeah, like, yeah well, never mind, I like was. Bioshock, Dead Space, th that, that's why I love it, because. So, yeah, it's Ben, it's. Freaking scary. It's really scary, the Ben, the new. There's, even, there's some other games that, like, I couldn't even play, they were too scary, I can't remember the name of the series, but. Is it the Five Nights at Freddy's? series <laughs> no, no 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 those They're, are good but no it's a few years old but you go into a house with no weapons you just have like a camera uh and there's a few of them like you have no weapons the graphics are amazing i can't re i have them i just can't remember i think it's you know because i'm i'm trying to think of what i'm in an interview yeah so you have brain farts immediately yeah, but 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 no, like sometimes it's so scary. I I love playing them because mm -hmm. I get I get lost in them. But then things get so scary and I have to stop. Ooh, okay. My next my next that's happened to me before. Okay, when I played the very first Bendy game, I was like thirteen. The projectionists freak the hell. Yes, out. that guy is creepy. But when I when I played the first game, I was about 13 years old and I was terrified of everything at that age still. So I got about 6 minutes into chapter playing chapter 1 and then I turned it off and never played it again. And then I picked it back up, I think I picked it back up like t a year and a half ago and now I speed run the first game. I like speed yeah. run through all five chapters yeah. to see how fast I could beat the game. My record time for beating the full game, no stops or anything, is an hour and fifty six minutes. Dang, so it's not bad. It's not bad. Do, do you like find everything you need? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just beat the game in that amount of time. I just run through. I only do the necessary tasks, and then I don't even use any glitches. I don't utilize any glitches or anything. I just run through it. I think um, I've become so desensitized to the first game that I can just run through it like it's nothing. <laughs> I think the other part that freaks me out about the first game is all those hallways with the butcher gang. Oh yeah, that that kind of creeped me out. Not not I, it was in fun chapter going in chapter five halls. when you have to when you're trying think, to collect the ink and put it yeah, to make the pipes. Yeah, yes, yeah, 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 yes, yeah. yes. That's creepy. But going through the halls wasn't bad but when they see you and start chasing you that and then it's like yeah <laughs> and yeah they're very they're very reason, creepy the projectionist that me. guy dude like after okay after you um and he looks so cool he I mean, yes wanna, in, when you face him i want to see him when you face him in chapter five and you go up and you flip the lever and then he's gone and you have to run back up and once you get to the stairs he starts chasing you to the to the yeah. like to the hidey hole. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, and then Bendy kills him like it's nothing. <laughs> yeah, there's so many cool looking characters. I mean you wanna check them out, but you can't stick around to check them I out. I wish I mean... there was a I wish he was in this new game so we could get a scarier model for him. It would have been cool, yes, to have an advanced model of the projectionist in the new game. Because, you know, all the models in this new game are better and, like, creepier. Yeah. And it would have been cool to yeah. see an even scarier projectionist. Yeah. You know, I'll, I'll tell you a secret, and I, I, you might freak out a little bit. Okay. Um, I haven't played Dark Revival yet. Ah! <laughs> you have to! Oh, my God. Oh, well, you know what? I, I feel like I have because I've because you voiced it and you've watched well, people play it and I've, I've I've been a part of so many playthroughs and do you know and... about do you know about Carl, <laughs> the the in the in your studio tour in Animation Alley where <laughs> the mannequin is hanging from the ceiling yeah, yeah. and he's like say hello yeah, to yeah. Carl, <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> yeah that I was uh, I was actually I was actually really impressed with all that because we recorded this stuff like three years ago yeah it, and, it was, and, so you, and then all this weird stuff happened with the company and the meatly all and the meatly the, stuff and, went down but they and, recovered and we got a recovery kindly beast and all that Ki oh yeah and uh and the, I, but, everybody thought it was never going to come out everybody thought right, it was going to be dead right. everyone thought it was over but but what was if you remember they would they would call me up and say like hey uh 
<laughs> we have this promo for the sequel coming up. Can you voice this thing for the promo? Yeah, yeah. And then they, and then they would drop it on April first. Ah, <laughs> yes, I and do it, remember that. I do I remember, remember when they did remember, that. Uh, remember Bendy Royale. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, and though that was happening for a while there, but for all this time, just like the fans, all of us voice actors, we were like, eh, "What's happening? What's happening? Where, is it? Where, Where is, it? is it? Where's the game?" So when I, so w when they were describing Animation Alley to me, when Lauren Singer, who's the mm -hmm. voice of Alice Angel, she was the she's she's directed like the us. director of this whole thing. Yeah, of this whole. So shooting. when she's she's describing like what's happening, and she's like, "Yeah, it's this section where it's like a tour, and and the Joey voice comes on, and you see all these different things, and With mannequins. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, okay, I I get it, I kind of get it, but mm, I see it, okay." And as a voice actor, I mean, that's all you got. That's what the producer's there for. Yeah, you don't have a visual. You just have. And this you're always is what alone. You're talking you about. You don't have other. You don't have other voice actors with you. Yeah. Um, it's but, not but, like a movie but, filming where you have voice actors in the room with you, like. <laughs> but Animation Alley sounded really, really interesting. But when I finally saw it, yeah, I loved. You were that like, part. wow. Yeah. I oh, we yeah. we should do a video together again someday in the future where. We have where I just let's just sit back with you while you play Bendy in the Dark Revival. You actually play it instead of like you know being there on someone's playthrough. You just play through the game. I think that'd be you kind know, of fun. <laughs> you know what I I really the only reason I'm not playing it I haven't played it yet is because I I'm waiting for it to come out on like console. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Um, I hope I, just, I hope it does soon. I, I hope it does too. I, uh, I I would like to play it on my Nintendo Switch or <laughs> on. I, still I, have a PS4. I think that would. I think the game would be a little difficult on Nintendo Switch. <laughs> I mean, I think I, it'd I just, be a little bit challenging. I think I'm intimidated by a keyboard and a mouse to play, so that's why I haven't played it yet. That's the only reason. That's the only um, reason. Yeah, I, I'm just. I would like to have it all on joystick for me. Yeah, that's like that's. I could see the that kind of gamer I am. I my my W A S D uh, and shift keys. You can't see the the letters on them anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's no, that's the I, life I, of a gamer. Yeah, every time I try to play something on a keyboard, I I'm I'm a mess. So that's why I don't. <laughs> Um, okay, what did I have? Okay, this is a heavy, this is a loaded question. Okay. This is a very loaded question. Okay. Out of every character you have ever voiced or played, this includes shows, musicals, video games, everything. Who is your favorite and why? If you had to name a favorite character. It could be Star Trek, it could be Frogger, it could be Joey, it could be Elisha, Whitney, it could be anything. That is, that is a... It's a loaded question. Huge question. Um, it's kind of like, what's your favorite movie? Yeah, they, you know, yeah. I mean, you gotta have like a top five, or you gotta have favorites for different reasons. Yeah. In, in, uh... And and I gotta I gotta tell you, um, I've had such a great run. I've had I've played so many cool characters on stage. I've had so many great experiences and met so many amazing people that I've I've just had so much mm -hmm. uh, in the video game world. I almost feel guilty with some of the characters I've played, like Joey and uh, Captain Sean and Frogger. I mean, because yeah. I have I have a lot of friends that are voice actors well as well, but like you know, you know, you're just kind of like we, I'm kind of we, cool. We, we, don't, we don't we don't yeah we don't all you know hit you know certain characters. I don't and, associate yeah. with side characters. <laughs> well, no, I'm no I'm no plenty yeah. of side characters. No, yeah, I just. Games. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a, and I have friends that, that have their hits, you know. Yeah. But I've I've really been fortunate. I've had so many great characters. Right now, today, I am Joey Drew crazy. Yeah. Uh, not I can so, see not 
not so much for just like the character itself, but it's the first time as a as a voice actor that the fandom the fandom has, has responded has, so heavily has really really um, inspired yeah yeah has been so nice and welcoming yes. and awe inspiring and and it's been amazing especially when we released the video Oh, the music video. The, the yes. music, the, the Joey Drew Wait, music. Wait, can I do something real quick? I gotta, I yeah. gotta try something really quick. Um, I gotta, wait, listen to this. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna go nuts. You're gonna go nuts when I do this, if I can get it to work. Okay. Uh, come on, come on, please work. All right, and then I do this. All right, wait. It kind of sounds like my old microphone. Where no strangers to love. You know the rules, and so do I. It, it sounds like Sean Crisden. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, that's you. Yes, it's the ink demon. Oh, nice. My ink swells and boils. <laughs> say, uh, say Big Chungus. <laughs> oh boy yeah that's my ink demon voice impression that's, that's my that's cool. my ink demon voice on voice mod yeah well you don't need a joey drew filter you just do that <laughs> on your own <laughs> oh no, that's pretty cool that that at first i thought that was really uh sean uh, sean yeah, yeah. Thank you, my thank you for nice, acknowledging my nice, talents. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice, really cool. It was that and that it, one. And you did it live too. Yes, nice. I did it live. I almost very impressive. I almost forgot to turn it on on my recorder, so only you would have heard it, and they would have been like, "What's going on here?" But I think <laughs> I did it right, guys. Yeah. Did I do it right? Video? Did Did you hear it? Did you hear the ink demon, or did you hear me being a weirdo? I don't know. Either one works. <laughs> Yeah, put it in in post. <laughs> I'll try my best. I'll re I'll re-record it afterwards and overlay it on top of this if it didn't work. <laughs> okay, Joe, to answer your question, in theater, I've done... I've played this one character in a play that I love called um, uh, Tito Morelli in uh, Lend Me a Tenor. He's uh, the world's greatest opera singer, and it's probably the greatest farce ever written by Ken hmm. Ludwig. Um, look it up sometime. It's a I will. I will. It's a fantastic farce. I've played Tito Morelli twice um, in two different productions. Uh, my A uh, couple years ago, before the pandemic hit, I played... Um, uh, Nathan Detroit in Guys and Dolls here in uh, one of the theaters in San Diego at the Coronado Playhouse. And that was kind of nice because Guys and Dolls was the the movie, like I said, that really launched my that mind launched into becoming here, an yeah. actor. And I'd been in uh, the show before about, gosh, like, here we go, like 35 years ago. <laughs> and uh, I was I played Nate, uh, uh, Benny South Street back then, hmm. but now I got to actually play Nathan Detroit and just a couple of years ago, and that was really a, a great feeling to that, do that. Yeah, um, I'm guessing that and, was like the dream role. It well, it, it meant a lot more to me than uh, for you know sentimental reasons yeah. and, and things like that. And and uh, I, I've just like I say I've I've I've. I've been fortunate enough to get cast in so many cool roles and work with so many great people in, in theaters that are just mind blowing that I never thought I'd, I'd uh, be allowed in unless I bought a ticket. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, but, and then in the video game world, I would have to say Joey Drew, uh, Captain Vakel Sean from Star Trek Online are my top two. I think they're neck and neck. And actually to tell you the truth, what I had to do is because of this whole fandom since Thanksgiving when uh, Dark Revival released, mm -hmm. I had to drop some Vakel Sean in on my social uh, media feed just to remind <laughs> just people, to... like, hey, you like Joey Drew? Remember, like, uh, just there's to... other stuff you can, you know. <laughs> so he doesn't get covered I... up, washed yeah, away by we... the ink. 
<laughs> we need to keep uh, the sequels coming, you know. And I actually did record some uh, Star Trek online just last week, so oh, nice. That, that means there's in that more coming. genre. Yeah, yeah. It's it's an ongoing. It's saga. an ongoing. Yeah. Yeah. So I just recorded some more last week. So there's more Captain. Sean Hopefully, it coming. wasn't it wasn't terrible mic quality. <laughs> Uh, no, it was it was it was good. <laughs> it was it was good. They they would definitely let me know, but um, yeah, uh, that's that's a Discord thing, and it's killing me. I don't know what it is, and I record all the time. I I, I I'm always recording. I'm always in uh, meetings and interviews online. It's just with Discord. I don't it's know what it is. It's just Discord. If, you're, if your listeners know what's going on Yes, with listeners. Discord, All right, so his mic, know. his big professional, like, recorder mic keeps chopping like this at you at l a e a ing So if you know how Maybe. to fix that, he tried ch changing his input, he restarted Discord, he did all these things, and it didn't work. So we got to find only out. Discord. It's only Discord. Every other app works. Every other yeah. thing is fine. Recording lines generally is fine. It's just Discord. If you guys know how to solve this problem, please help us out. Please help my I please help to, my uh, help my friend here, Dave, out, please. Maybe I should have bought the good XLR cable. <laughs> maybe. Maybe and so. Test it like a battery. No. I don't know what it is. No shock. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so that, that's kind of cheating an answer, but I mean, that, it's I mean, real, that's a yeah, tough it's one, a man. it's a loaded question. I thought of that's saving it for last, but I didn't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have yeah. I have a I have a really deep question for the last one on the list, but oh. all right. So okay. next next question next question. Um, so it's kind of two questions mixed into one. So I was wondering, how did you happen upon Bendy? Were it, did you find the game before? Um, it, were you a fan of the first game? Um, and how did you like get the part? Did they reach out to you? Was there an audition site where you sent in auditions, or was it just a you knew a guy and it was a lucky hookup, or <sighs> what kind of thing like that? Like, how did you find out about our lovely Inky Demon? Well, what happens is, uh, for at least for myself, and I know with a lot of the voice actors that I work with, you kind of work with each other over and over. You kind of become part of a little, like a, a um, like a corral, <laughs> like a, you know, like uh, yeah. voice actors. And uh, <laughs> with me, I've been working with a lot of the same uh, people over the last 20 years through Audio Gods, which is Lonnie Manella's company. Mm. And and you work with uh, a lot of the same people on uh, 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 the games that come in. Lonnie would find a lot of them, or however she researches uh, or and finds her work. Uh, people come to her and say, "We have this game. Can you help us cast it?" That's how I get a lot of my uh, video game work. Mm. Lauren Singer, who. Uh, is Alice Angel yeah. and uh, Lonnie Manella was also uh, voices of the Keeper and Heidi. Was Heidi in the first game? Heidi was in the second game, not in the first one. Not in the first game. Um, Lonnie was the voice of the Keeper in in the first game, and Lauren had worked with Lonnie in uh, other projects. Mm -hmm. By the and... way, to those of you who are confused as to who Heidi is, she's the one with the long hair who helps you get into the place where Henry and Sammy are. Uh, she's the one who plays hide-and-seek with you in the Keepers area. Anyway. And and she's the station ID lady in the Joey Drew music video. Oh. oh yeah, you're, you're listening right. to Ink You're listening to Ink 1115. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so anyway, <laughs> Lauren, you know what? It was either Lauren Singer or the Meatly himself that contacted me first. Hmm. And I don't know how many people they spoke to or auditioned, but they sent me an email and said, we got this game, uh, that we need a sound alike for Joey Drew. Uh, you want to take a shot at it? And I did. And um, the original, the original voice was was a little more true to the old Joey. It was kind of oh, wow. 
kind of down in there. That you know, sounds exactly of, like the old voice at the end of the first game. Kind of, kind of grumbly, but then you throw some Walt Disney in there. <laughs> yes. Uh, some wonderment. Throw in and, a little bit of mehaz. <laughs> yeah, well, the mehaz came later. Yeah, they come later. Um, you're right. You're right. Yeah, they, but 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 the original the original gig was to sound like original Joey, and yes. so I I sent what I sent, but then it kind of you know goes a little high pitch sometimes, with a little smile as if he's Walt Disney. Yeah. Right. yeah but, Henry, come visit the old we're, workshop. We're, we're, we're cooking up big things in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> so you could get up some so bacon that, soup. <laughs> <laughs> bacon soup, man! I want some bacon Dude, soup. Dude, there's okay. There's a book in Dark Revival that you can find that has a recipe for like a pie, and then the next it says next page bacon have soup, you, and you can't click on to the next page. Well, have you made the, the recipe? Pie? I didn't make the pie. You have to make the pie. I'll make the pie eventually. And then and then see what it unlocks. I tried. I tried to. I tried to turn the page to look at the recipe for for bacon soup, and it wouldn't let me. And I was so upset. I was like, "We're so close. I can almost there's see some, it. I can almost taste some, it." <laughs> there's some smashed beans. Some bacon beans in between the. There's some. There's some. Ink, there's a little bit of cyanide in there. I think. That's it. There's some arsenic and cyanide. You know, just a little <laughs> mixture. <laughs> oh. But then the but then uh what what how we 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 did though then we started doing like these little inserts I think for promos for the next game yeah. that didn't that took so long to come out and then in the meantime I don't know if you are familiar with um Showdown Bandit Showdown Bandit Look this up this is like a trivia question and I think it's when um uh, Kindly Beast came in, maybe, but it was another game. Oh, yeah. That that that, that, that the Meatly was making, and it was about marionette puppets. A real dark, dark. Oh yeah, game I can see it. Marionette puppets. Interesting. And and I they called me back to play a, a clown marionette in that game, and I think his name was Boris or something like that. <laughs> mm. He was like a depressed uh, showbiz clown, burnt out. On sounds kind of like sounds kind of like Krusty. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of like. It's a, a little bit of a Krusty the Clown here. <laughs> yeah, he was kind of like a Bronx Jay Z kind of clown. <laughs> so then uh, I got to know him a little more for that, and then and then um, and then Bendy we ended, we ended up, kinda. Well, yeah, we ended up recording Bendy in the Dark Revival. Uh, but it just, it, yeah, it just, it was a mystery. So does that mean that the, the ink demon's voice was created over three years ago? Absolutely. That's nuts to think about. You know what? You know what? That's what I know. That's what I think. If you ever should have a conversation with the I'm, ink demon himself. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm working on it. Maybe you, you maybe you could hook me up with some people. Maybe you could give me some contacts. <laughs> some Lauren can, Sing, uh, so a little bit of Lauren Singer in there, maybe. <laughs> oh yeah, you know. Hey, you, I mean, you, you know, get... whatever the future holds, you know, I'd love to interview like more of the cast. That'd be so you, cool. You seem to do uh, an okay job getting me in on here. Yeah, so I mean, it was it was do, just, it was just do a what you tweet, did and uh... just a tweet in a dream, you know. <laughs> just a tweet in a dream <laughs> <laughs> thank you for saying that i really wanted you to say that in that voice <laughs> is that is that weird when the voice kind of comes out every now it just kind of happens oh yeah. even just when you're normally talking to me every once in a while i kind of hear him in there i he's little, he's he's, he's he's trying to break out <laughs> Yeah, he's just yeah. resting I, I, in your throat, trying to get out. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can sense him sometimes. Sometimes he's yeah. just kind of there. Yeah. You, you feel, yeah. you feel like dreaming a little bit. <laughs> he's, he's always there. He's always there in our hearts. <laughs> oh, Audrey. <laughs> oh, Audrey, you don't have to be there anymore. Yeah, you, you know, have you to have you. heart. There's always a reason. Hey, there's. 
I got to tell you something about that. This is another inside scoop. Mm -hmm. When we recorded uh, that ending sequence. Yeah. And I'm. Um, Joey's final the moments. The actual recording uh, and how it was described to me and how we acted it out and went for it. It was much more uh, violent and traumatizing. And than just. Yeah, because uh, from what I understood, Joey was going to be squeezed and mm -hmm. guts and blood or, or ink was going to come out and he was going to be like ripped in half. Oh, yeah, so, that definitely didn't so, happen. <laughs> so we recorded we recorded all that. Like audio and, of you going like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and and you, and you do that. That's kind of something That's you just do. Got, you just kind of do grunts yeah. and you kind of do little sounds. Yeah, uh, we call them emotes. Emotes, yes, so, yes. So when you're recording video games, you do the easier voices first, the ones that are most like your voice, so it's not a strain on your vocal cords. And then when you get into these other characters that, you know, are kind of grovel or might be a little rough, rough, you save those for the end. Yeah. And in a video game, for the characters, chances are they're mostly most likely going to get killed. <laughs> yeah. So then you so then you say you record the uh, the emotes at the end of the session because it involves like screaming and gargling. You know, and stuff Joey. Like I feel like for me, Joey's biggest moment is when he's being about to be squeezed to death, and he just says, "Just a pencil in a dream isn't enough." And I just think that line is. M so special because that's the re moment Joey realizes the tr his mistake. He realizes the truth when he says a pencil in a dream isn't enough. I just think that's such a heavy line. I, and, and that's why I brought this up because when we recorded it, I think, I think Lauren, who, who it was just me and Lauren. Lauren was directing me. She's piped in on my cans, and I mm -hmm. was recording, and um she was crying after the takes of when he says what he said to Audrey and 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 I think there was a few takes when Joey's crying and stuff like that I mean it was very emotional, emotional yeah very very heartfelt and um trying to put every as, as seeing actor, seeing the redemption arc of Joey drew in this game is incredible like it may and, not uh, it's not really Joey it's his memory but just it's still a redemption nonetheless I feel like yeah yeah, he's yeah. well. It, it, whoever he is, <laughs> you gotta have heart. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Don't do this to me. And, and that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That the the intent when we recorded it was to put so much love and feeling into the character, um, and and it was coming through when we recorded. Yeah, it. It really, I, really yeah, I could hear emotional. it in that scene. He's like, and, uh, you don't have to be this anymore. Yeah. You're not a monster, Audrey. I I know you're in there, Audrey. My and, Audrey. And then, uh, <laughs> and then, um, and then when it came out, it was still very dramatic, but I'm but like, not okay, as much I'm, as it I'm, was. I'm like, that's you know, they had the reasons for doing the way they they, they did lightened it, and, it and, a little it, bit. It, it, it's very good, but uh, but I was like, wow, we we have, there are some other takes. Oh, that, uh, <laughs> they exist yeah. somewhere. Well, yeah, they they exist. Um, like on your this? computer right there. Um, here they are. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thanks. Thank you for sharing us with this secret information. Thank you for bestowing upon us these audio files no, that we will never no, there, hear. <laughs> there's, there's multiple. There's multiple takes sometimes, and um, and they went with that that take, and uh, it's great. I it's love really it. It's really good. Was, it's really nice to see. I loved animation, animation alley. So, so, but but the secret is there's there's more. There there's was going there's to other be more. versions that are very violent. very <laughs> intense and very violent. Did and very so emotional. so? Did you know about Bendy before you were reached out to, asked to be? Had you heard that it existed before they contacted you? Honestly, I had not. But here's what happened. Um, sometimes, you know, I do classes, I do voiceover classes, and sometimes I'm invited to uh, theaters or schools or um, voiceover classes to yeah. speak about stuff. And when I when I start dropping names of, you know, the characters I've played, 
I'll say, oh, I've done this in Star Trek. I've been in this game. I've been in that game. But when, whenever I would mention uh, Bendy, they would go. Oh. Uh, there, there was always that reaction. Always. Yeah. And and I then guess, I, would, I then, can... and that's when I was like, oh wow, people are really onto this game. And then the next step would say, well, I I played the voice of Joey Drew in the and game. And they're like, oh, what? And and and, and then they start asking like, you, can you do the voice? Do it. Do it. And then you know. Can you meh for us? <laughs> and then I do, but 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 that's I I hadn't heard of the game, and I, I immediately looked it up and played it, and and I thought, okay, yeah, this is really really cool. Um, You're like, wow, but, I scored big with this. <laughs> yeah, but even back then, this was like on the tail end of of the first game of the first game, yeah, cast. chapter five. The fandom already let me know that they this were going to welcome you, and, the, and this big. franchise was bigger well actually i got to tell you when i and i don't know if you know anybody that's actually ever spoken to the meatly i'm one of them i i do um, not <laughs> um when i first spoke to the meatly or maybe it was an email to be honest um they they actually said well if you take this role just be aware that be prepared <laughs> you're you're gonna you're gonna be uh stalked and you're gonna have to fly across the country to do um you know, <laughs> just just so you know like if that. you if you take this role you will never be able to forget it you will never be yeah. allowed to forget it <laughs> well not me the, the fandom <laughs> yeah uh and, and and so i i got that right away and and you know i played it and i'm like oh yeah this is cool this is just this is like, uh, like this is in the vein of like Bioshock or yeah. or um, um, Dead Space, and uh, so I liked it immediately. But um, when we recorded the second game, we were all excited. But then you know, three years went by, and it was like, okay, then it's finally coming out. But when it came out, the payoff was like huge everything well not the game itself the gameplay the visuals the graphics everything's uh, amazing ev everything was just over the top just done so well and yeah it was, um, it was kind of like worth the wait you know yeah it and, honestly and, was and, i see I, and, I had forgotten that we were even waiting for it until yeah. i got the teaser it was like on the Meatly's channel. It was this little puppet guy, and he's like, "By the way, Benny and the Dark Revel comes out in a week." And I was like, "Wow!" Yeah. I was like, "Where's that coming yeah. from?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so it was huge. And then and once I'm so, we, I'm uh, so glad they didn't release it in chapters. By the way, I'm glad they released it all at once. Yeah. Because if yeah. they had done the same Absolutely. thing as the first game, yeah. I would have been so upset. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and and I think the the Meatly responds to. What the fans? Uh, I think want. it it was good for the first game because it mm -hmm. let it m gave the fandom time to build. If they had released Bendy all at once, it would have been the quality of the first chapter one. The first version yeah. of chapter one right, wasn't right, very right. good. But right. So they were they, they were have figuring a new it out chapter as one. they went. Yes. Yeah. They were yeah. figuring so it out as it went. They needed those chapters to, to also, learn and grow themselves. Bendy's model got an upgrade. Like, yeah. he looks so cool now. <laughs> oh, my God. With, with the Did... hooves and the giant quad arms. and Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <sighs> He's so cool. It, 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 it was all done so well. And, and, and then here's what happened. You know, have you seen the video of Sean Christian when he says Big Chungus in his studio? I think... So he, because he what? was like, he, they told him to, and he was like, no, I won't say Big Chungus. Or it was yeah, something well, like that. Well, what happened was the game released. All of us started riding this huge fandom wave, and we were all in on watching all these playthroughs and seeing all the, the comments and chat sections just going crazy and uh -huh. listening to everybody going, ma -ah -ah, ma -ah -ah. <laughs> uh, it was watching really, really my cool. video going, ma -ah -ah. <laughs> it was really, really cool. Um, and then, so I think it was like right. The, the game released on November 15th, and then right around Thanksgiving, Sean Christen came on 
uh, he uh, he posted a video of himself saying, "Hey, this is Sean Christian, or however he sounds." And he said, <laughs> "I I got, a re- I got a request to uh, say uh, uh, Big Chungus in the voice of the, the Ink Demon," and he did. And I'm watching this video going. <laughs> This is amazing, and it's like you know a two-minute video, but it was so cool to see him do it. And then I'm like, man, that makes me want to post something. But man, he set the bar so high. He did, in his yeah. Two-minute video. Like, no, I, I think I what, think what people would do? like it if you did something like that, though. I think well, people would enjoy it. Well, here's what happened at that time that he did that. The whole cast of Bendy, we were we're, we're all on this email chain, mm-hmm. and we're all conversing with each other and when i saw that i was like oh my god did you see sean's video it's so amazing and people are talking about it and i'm like i want to do something but i don't know what to do and then um people started throwing stuff back and forth and it was thanksgiving and christmas is coming up the holidays are there so i'm like well maybe we could do like uh like some holiday poems or something like the night before christmas in in different character voices or something like that and then I think it was Sean and Lauren had already maybe, maybe done some singing or some mm-hmm. put some stuff together. And then uh, so this was this the birth of the radio show. This was it. So uh, so. By the I, way, I'll I, link I w- I'll link that radio show down below, and I'll link the big Chungus thing. But anyway, yeah. But but then but then. Lauren said something about uh, doing. I think I wrote a, a thing of the night before Christmas, and then Lonnie Manella did another poem, and and then it was it was nice. But then somebody started talking about music, and I go, "Well, we could put it all together if Joey is the like a the host, um, the host like a Casey Kasem America's Top Forty type video from the seventies, you know, and eighties." And that's when it all clicked, and everybody recorded their songs and sent them to me. It was, and then I cut, and then I cut it all together, and I voiced the Joey thing and wrote all his dialogue, mm-hmm. and and we shared it with uh, our uh, with ambassadors Will. who animated it. Oh, the yeah. And uh, and then when it, when uh, Will Da Games yeah uh, aired it, was he? It was it, it was a huge explosion. Like yeah. the the chat room was just going crazy. Is and Will there was in like the, that thousand... email chain? Are you guys? Because he was a voice in the game. I know that he voices yeah, Grant he... Cohen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's in that email chain. So he just kind of saw this. Yeah. He's like, "Hey, I have like a big following on YouTube. Yeah. I can I can post yeah, yeah. this. I can publish this." Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. That's how that all happened. <laughs> and I think, and I think he might be hosting a playthrough coming up on February 9th and 10th. It, I think it was going to be um, uh, Super Horror Bro, but uh, something happened with him and he can't Yeah, he I know he was it. supposed to be in it. I uh, or I remember there well, he not in it, but there's going to be a playthrough and all the oh, cast is going to okay. be there. Cuz I ha- the ca- Didn't and he it's have also a gonna voice be a- line in the game right outside the keepers i think he did have a voice i don't i don't don't know what he did because i remember there was a voice recording right before you enter the room where you were introduced to the keepers and it sounds exactly like him so i think it's him talking about the people paid to die is that one paid to die or whatever his little spiel was i think think it's super horror bro but I'm yeah, I think sure. that's Super Horror Bro, and he was going to host our playthrough, which is also going to be uh, uh, a streamly signing, live signing Ooh. from the cast members, and that's coming up on the 9th and 10th. I'm going to kind of be there, kind of not, because it's the opening of weekend of our, goes, of our yeah. show. So I'm gonna. Be so are you gonna be signing some things for people? <laughs> I I have a I have a Streamly store if anyone wants to look at it and I can send you that link, uh, and I'll do signings and I'll sign anything you want. If there's a Joey Drew action figure that were ever to come out <laughs> or a Joey, plush. they make a plushie. The YouTube's plushies. Have you seen those that they're working on that they're releasing yeah. tomorrow? Those yeah, YouTube stuff. Yeah, it's like stuff? YouTube's or something. Yes, like that. Yes, I'm I'm yeah, I yeah. I fear for my wallet. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. fear for yeah, my wallet. It, it's because they're great. all so yeah. cool. I love I love Wilson's character in this game. Wilson's such Wilson. a cool character. It's what Tim Simmons Wilson. is that his name? Yeah, Tim Simmons. Yeah, he's so creepy. His he's voice so... is crazy. 
I love but him. But he's but he's like a funny guy. He like was in actor. he was in the last game. I know he was. He was in the first game yeah. too. I just don't remember yeah. who he played. He yeah. he had a voice in it though. I just can't yeah. think of who he played. I don't know. If you look him up in social media, you'll see that he's he's kind of a fun fun guy. He he, he does he, he does a lot of Oh, uh, he was uh, in Five Nights at Freddy's and he was Nightmare Freddy. That's where I uh, else I know him from cuz I love the Five Nights at Freddy's games. He played Nightmare yeah. Freddy. Also, he kind of looks like Okay, have you seen the show Lucifer? Yeah. He looks like the preacher in season 4. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah he yeah. looks like the the preacher guy in season 4. And uh, well, I was like, "Hey, he looks kind of—he looks kind of cool. I—I I, I can see him playing Wilson. <laughs> I can see him being the voice of Wilson." I gotta tell you, when um, when I cut that whole Joey Drew music video mm -hmm. together, you know, when you work with video or or audio, you become really connected to it you have an intimate yes, relationship I, with it because yes you listen to it over and over again and you get to know it all and and tim uh uh will i mean every single character that sang a song i mean i was i was not only proud to be a cast member with these people but i was also fanboying myself mm -hmm. off of you know their talent and like these songs are so good oh my <laughs> gosh it's like it's so cool it's so awesome i but it, it, and they're all just amazing amazing fantastic mm -hmm. voice actors i know the the whole thing of familiarity with audio because uh i have an audio drama series that i've made oh, and really? published yes on my youtube channel if you if you want to check it out i'll send it to you later um it's a 50 minute project that took me 11 months to make <laughs> and oh my gosh. it's um a based on my five nights at freddy's alternate universe and uh oh, it has it has an original character in it who his name is jack and he's the best character i've ever written in my life he wow. is he, so i made it's called Five Nights at Freddy's... The new one's called Five Nights at Freddy's Eternal Darkness. The first one's called fin yeah. uh, Five Nights at Freddy's The Nighttime. And yeah. that one, I I limited myself. I gave myself 30 days to do it because I'm dumb. And it didn't turn out very well. And I re-listened to it now and it's not very good. But the... I... So... I realized make I, when I decided to make a sequel because I was like I can't just leave it at this terrible project, right? So I I was like I have to elaborate on the story. It ended on a cliffhanger, blah blah blah. So I decided basically to uh, I realized that the way that I audio edited it, I accidentally made a coincidence that allowed a character who died in the first one to actually still be alive. And that was Jack. That was Jack, my 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 character. Jack um gets knocked out a window and falls to his death in the first project. And but but about twenty about twenty seconds before he gets knocked out, you hear police sirens and ambulances arrive at the base of the building. So I was like, Jack's alive. He falls out. They scoop him up, throw him in an ambulance, and take him to the hospital. And I yeah. was like, yes! And that basically created this dynamic in the second project where I basically, I, br <laughs> I roped in a character from the games for the second one, from the actual canon of the games. I roped him into it, and his whole goal, his only goal is to kill the villain, his father. And then Jack's yeah. only goal is to save his friend Vanessa, who was possessed and then kidnapped by the killer at the end of the first project. So, yeah. the son will do anything to kill the dad, the friend will do anything to save the girl. And so, at the final fight of this project, the... So, he was the... Jack was the comedic relief in this project, right? And is yeah. And I'm working on a sequel, and he's the villain now. So, cool. basic. He's a great character. His development's crazy. So, so do you do you do all the voices for this? No, I have hired voice actors for yeah. this and stuff. All right, but cool. it would be weird if well, I see, did everything. But so see, you're you're doing. You're it's doing, yeah. You're creating. It's, I'll have to. Creating, I'll have to send uh, it to you. You might. I think you yeah, might yeah, actually yeah, yeah. enjoy it. But yeah, I, yeah. There's yeah, this I whole. There's this whole conflict where the two protagonists 
fight because Michael says, Michael's the one who wants to kill his dad. He says, I will do anything to kill my father, even if I have to kill your friend to do it. If I have to kill her to get to him, I will do it. And then Jack's like, but I'll do it. I, I want to save her. And he ends up having to, he ends up killing the girl, Jack's friend, to kill his father. So Jack oh. vows revenge, and that's where we get his his villain arc. Spoilers! Spoiler alert! <laughs> spoilers! Spoiler alert! Spoilers! Sorry, and, I did. Spoil and does it. he get squeezed and ripped in half at the end? And then thrown like... into an inky puddle? Yeah, yeah, sounds about right. Well, no, that's really really cool. So yeah, see, you're doing you're yeah. doing your art form. Uh, but I love that. I, I specialize in, in audio plays and audio drama. I'm working on, I'm working on audio drama stuff. I'm working good, on getting good, really good, good, good at it. Good for you. I'll have to send you the link to that later. Please do. Please do. I completely I will, forgot I had written questions. <laughs> I will, I will give you, uh, uh, I will give you my, um, your feedback in my, uh, my honest opinion. Your honest opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I will give you the Joey Drew seal of approval. <laughs> I kind of get the feeling we might start losing people uh, if we keep. We're, doing yeah, that. <laughs> we're we're gonna lose the views. It's don't, just gonna be us. Yeah. The, it's keep gonna watching. dissolve. It's gonna dissolve into us laughing the whole time. <laughs> yeah. It's just, just gonna be a laughing. Interview. Yep. We should. We should. There's just a video. I, there's. <laughs> I make captions for the whole video, but every line is just meh, eh, 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 eh. There's no actual words in the captions, it's just in mess. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, Joey Drew, we don't know what his laugh is. We don't know like. his laugh. It could be canon. You should you should say, hey, Mr. Mr. The Meatly, if you decide to make more Joey content, I have an idea for how he should laugh. <laughs> when, he, <laughs> when, he, when he buys the well, first like, machine. <laughs> Yeah. While he's twirling his mustache. I've got, I've got big ideas. <laughs> you know, I like this pencil and a dream thing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyway, before we get caught on that forever. <laughs> um. Okay, so I said, uh, we already kind of answered this, but if they make a new game, will you reprise the role of Joey Drew? You know, I sure hope so, um, but th it's ultimately... It's up to up the Meatly, me. or, yeah, yeah, it's ultimately yeah. up to the creator. Yeah. The creator maybe, lied maybe, to us. <laughs> maybe they'll maybe they'll make a, a, a prequel, and Joey That would be really cool. Like, maybe, like, only 15 at the time, uh, and so <laughs> I would do my best to, to be a little 15-year-old Joey Drew, but I don't know if... I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. maybe. Who knows? I would love to continue voicing Joey Drew, mm -hmm. um, but uh, let's just hope it happens. And um, you know what? You know what? I am a firm believer in fandom platforming. So yeah, you you got it. You got to get your fans together. Uh, if you if you listening to this or watching this, um. Whatever you want. Well, if you want me to continue voicing Joey Drew, make it known. And yeah, but tell him, tell him. <laughs> not just, not just that. Just whatever you want from the series, or whatever you'd like to see. I'm telling you, make your voice heard, and I, the Meatly may respond. Yeah, we'll see what happens. It's, it's. You know? it, I feel like the Meatly is a res a very receptive creator. I feel like he will listen to feedback and kind of bridge off yeah. of things for sure yeah kind of like but the I, sonic I, movie I, yeah. the sonic movie got saved by people who actually listened to the fans <laughs> you know what uh that so, see that's another like um weird thing the original voice of sonic is a friend of mine an old friend of mine named ryan drummond Oh. And we we used to stand next to each other in a uh, studio and do work together. We used to do uh, commercials and stuff like that together. And then oh, he nice. moved somewhere. But there was one. He's session. somewhere. <laughs> yeah, he moved somewhere. I don't know where he is. I haven't I haven't seen him in a while. But last time I saw him, he was in a Super Bowl commercial. Oh. But there was one time we were doing a casino commercial for a, a Viejas Casino here in San Diego. Um, the the sound engineer goes. This is so cool. I got the voice of Sonic and Frogger in my booth. This is awesome. <laughs> uh, but that's one of those things where 
the voy the the voice of Sonic got eventually cast in uh, uh, and he didn't play them for the you know the latest you know few for the movie the game and then for, for the, the game. game for the movie for sure yeah he wasn't in the yeah. movie but but see that's that's just what happened. I think it's I think you... ben, what was his name Ben Schwartz was a good Sonic in the movies yeah. I think that's the actor's name I think yeah. I think he did it well yeah I mean but see it's just ultimately up to whoever's casting it yeah. and for whatever reasons that and in that case and... it was up to Sega <laughs> Sega Sega yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. um you already kind of answered this you said you're doing a cast playthrough but the question is do you plan to make more bendy content in the future like the radio show but uh i i sure would like to but we'll have to see it depends on um, where things go it depend. well i think i think all the elements came together just at the right time because we had just released the game the entire cast was conversing with each other in an email mm -hmm. chain back and forth for a number of weeks and then we were going into the holidays and and we were all riding the fandom mm -hmm. and it all just seemed to hit and everything came together at the right time and we and we were going to originally do like a holiday thing a yeah. holiday based like thing, a nightmare before but then it just, christmas style like you were saying, before, I don't know. Of... I, I think it was just going to be like, I think it was just going to be a series of poems and, and then it turned into songs or whatever, how it just evolved to be what it was at that time. Mm -hmm. But the response to it was so amazing that we'd like to, but we'll just have to wait and see what happens yeah. when the elements are right. And if everybody is, is up for something uh, again, so we'll we'll see but i definitely would like to um and and you know we we got the blessing of of uh the meatly and and all that to, you know, to do the radio we show. can do it but it's step yeah we, we can do it but we're, we're definitely separate we're nothing canon we're not trying yeah. to make any money or anything off of this this is just some something that uh, we as the actors want to give back because we're so excited about all the yeah i don't even and, think and... i don't even think will da games monetized the video the radio no, show i don't think I don't, he did. no 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 we did it we didn't want to we didn't want to uh one we didn't want to get sued yeah and, uh, that's uh, that's kind of know, important it, it, but it actually it was just all just we were having such a good time um with everybody's response to the game and we were all kind of riding high that it just all came together and we did what we did for in our appreciation to give back to the fans yeah so yeah it worked out but we'll see we'll see what happens yeah we'll see, we'll see what, what happens, happens in the future uh maybe I wanted maybe, to... maybe in three years maybe in three maybe years, in years. well maybe it'll double this time maybe it'll be six oh, God. <laughs> um yeah. they'll they'll tease it at the end of this year but it won't come out for another six yeah. No, in another six, nothing. we'll get the first trailer. <laughs> and just to put it out there, I know nothing. Uh huh. And you're not no just idea. saying it to say no. it. You don't know anything. I honestly don't know anything. Okay. The fact that you had to say that makes it seem a little suspicious, but you know, we know, we know that you're telling the truth. <laughs> yeah. No. I. I yeah. There, I have no idea. Hey, what's but hey, but hey. Yeah. If if there's anything coming next. Yes. But because of the success of this of uh the dark revival release there no might be more response. in the future there I, there has to be there has, there has, to, has to be, be. he there can't like be. yeah um and even if they make another game it definitely wouldn't be milking it even at this point because yeah, it's yeah. in its prime right now 100 percent. oh absolutely like yeah. e this is e it's even more in its prime right now than when chapter five of the first game released like this ha it has the most hype ever right now it, it it blew it up. It was it's, like a nuclear, it completely uh, exploded. Um, it was a nuclear ink explosion. Okay, I have a character. Er, character. I have a question. That <laughs> I have another written question. I wanted to ask. Um, I don't know if you're f really familiar enough with the franchise as a whole, but I wanted to ask in the Bendy franchise if if you have. A favorite character and why it doesn't have to be Joey it could just be out of any of the characters presented in the games who is your favorite and why 
I I love Baby Bendy. Baby Bendy's cute. Baby Bendy's adorable. I love He's Baby Bendy. He's so freaking adorable. And um I think <laughs> I want to say can I get an amen? Sammy Lawrence. I was going to I I I really I, I think love Sammy, Sammy is I think Sammy is such a coolly a cool structured Yes, he has a great his, he has a great story. Well, yeah, like what happened to like, him and he just and, lost but, it. But, and just the look of him is really cool. Like his his pants, his suspenders. And yeah. Then he's, and then he's ripped in the. In he's the dark really room. ripped. <laughs> and uh, and then just the the whole mask and everything. I mean, that's I, a really really cool character. It's it's, it's before Lord Amok, he was the cult follower. <laughs> before yeah. Lord Amok in the new game. I am Lord yeah. Amok. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, Sammy's a really, really cool character. I, I was going to um, say Sammy's my favorite. I like how he had a little bit in the end of Dark Revival where when you're playing as Beast Bendy, he's like, he's up on this rafter and he's like, the Lord arises! And then Alice shoots him and kills him. <laughs> and then he just falls and dies. And that's the end of Sammy Lawrence. <laughs> um, I like... I like Allison... Um, well, and then I have, I have a sentimental thing for Audrey, uh, for, you know, yeah, for my reason, for your daughter, <laughs> uh, uh, by the way, if you haven't played Bendy in the Dark Revival, yeah, sorry, uh, you're, if you, you know what, if you're watching this interview, you should have seen my playthrough, so this shouldn't be spoilers to you, but you know what? Every playthrough I've been a part of or watched, everybody playing it, everybody playing the game is like, you know what? I bet you. Audrey's I bet Joey's Audrey's daughter. Joey's I, daughter. Everybody. Yeah, everybody. I, mean, I, I, think, yeah, I think you even. Did I that even too. did that too. I was like, uh, when it was when I, you, it was in the episode I showed you. So I'm sure you saw it because of that, the meh episode. Because I was like, I was like. I was like, is Audrey Joey's daughter? It was Audrey Joey's daughter. I think I, I think it is. <laughs> you know, and you know what other people well, like Will DA Games, he has a video too mm -hmm. where he's he's saying the exact thing while he's playing, he's like, Oh yeah, I bet I bet, I bet Audrey you know, Joey's I, daughter. I bet bet. But they then there's the reveal and it, to see people go, ah! So and it's awesome. also it's also the uh oh my god she's not a human daughter she's made of ink. <laughs> yeah. She is born of ink. Yeah. Like in the end of the game she like she's like a human born yeah. of ink as she bends her finger yeah. all wobbly. Yeah. 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 Well, just because you were born to darkness doesn't mean you belong to it. <laughs> doesn't mean you belong there. <laughs> There's always a reason, Audrey. <laughs> Oh my god. You're gonna make me cry, Dave. Does, does it sound like him? Yeah. <laughs> no, you just sound like a cheap copy of Joey. How dare you insult his name? <laughs> you know, the real voice actor would be upset with you right now. <laughs> That's funny because in the past, when I've, when I've communicated with fans for other characters I've played, They'll go, are you really? And I'll go, yeah. And then I'll give them a little bit of the voice. And they go, nah, you're not. You, you suck. <laughs> who, do you, who do you think you are? Like pretending that you're the character of, you know, so-and-so in such a game. It's like, but I am. It's like, I, but I, but I, I am. But, but I just did the voice. But what? <laughs> I just did the voice for you. What do you mean yeah. it's not me? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I think... Uh, I think Sammy Lawrence is really cool. Um, Wilson is he he's so he's like you know when those characters you love to hate. Yeah, he's Will. That's Wilson. Wilson is I don't I don't hate him. I just love being creeped out by him because he plays it so. I yes, well. I remember this one uh, when Markiplier. I don't know if you know Markiplier. I watched his playthrough of the games. He's a really big YouTuber. 
Um, I watched his playthrough, and when he met Wilson and he was acting all creepy in the elevator at the beginning of the game, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, my sweet sweet Audrey. He's like, he's like, I am, Mark was like, you know what? I don't think he's a villain. I think this is too obvious. He's painted as too obvious and that he was actually a villain. Stay right here, my dear. My dear. Uh, <laughs> oh, God, no. Huh? You're gonna yeah. give me the chivers. Yeah, yeah, just, they're just, he's, that's, that's, he's... A, that's another heavy question because there, uh, there's so many cool characters. Um, I love, first, okay, I love Al a corrupt Alice Angel's story because, like, Susie Campbell, how she yeah. was promised the world by Joey. She was yeah. given the role of Alice Angel, and then, <laughs> and then it was all ripped away from her, and she was betrayed by him, and she it was given to Alice and Pendle, and I, I do like how that one tape of Susie where she's like Joey says he has a big plan for me that Al yeah. that I'm not done with Alice or something and I'm sure that's when he turned her into Alice Angel. He's like Joey has a surprise for me. He's going to So help me. Alice and Pendle is Alice Angel or is Alice, Alice and Pendle, Pendle one of the is is Heidi. Okay, Alice and Pendle is the human who turned into the good Alice. Yeah. Who's in chapter okay. five? But, but what, Susie, is, Susie yeah. Campbell is the evil Alice Angel. Yeah, and we but don't. There's, yeah, we don't know who Heidi was. Yes, but, yeah. but and we also know that Allison Pendle's Alice, the good Alice in the game, is based on the love that Joey found, talked about in Dark Revival. He's like, and then. He met an angel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. Do I do I do an okay Joey impression? Uh sure. I <laughs> think that I do an okay impression of Mr. Joey Drew. I'll give you a little tip to for Joey in case okay. you ever have to audition for him. Um you you have that, but then but then you gotta kind of ground him out a little bit. Bring him down here. You gotta kind of ground him out a little bit. And yeah, bring, bring, him, bring the bring the bring voice the down, voice the down your, to the back of the, your throat. Back of your throat and let it come through your Adam's apple a little bit. You get kind of you get kind of breathy. You gotta get kind of breathy with Joey Drew. Yeah. <laughs> you see, Audrey, you need to have heart. <laughs> Just because, <laughs> wait, <laughs> and then Joey, then Joey turned has his Bane arc. You adopted the darkness. I was born from it, <laughs> molded by it. <laughs> it's awesome. That's so awesome. Uh, I, I now see, it, it's for reasons like this that I hope I can play them again. But yeah, who knows. Someone else might come along. Okay, yeah. this is another very loaded question. I feel like you might think you have an easy answer to this, but once you start thinking about it, it might become more difficult. It'll seem like an obvious answer at first, and then you'll be like, well, actually. I want to mm. ask you, do you think that Joey Drew is a good character? I, like, in his build, in his actions yeah. in the past, in his redemption, do you think he really redeemed yeah. himself in Dark Revival? Like, do you think he is a good character? I think Joey is another fantastically constructed character because of all those layers yeah of of the brilliance of creating bendy and the studios and all the the bendy movies and stuff the cartoons um but th the brilliance of the character is how I don't know, maybe the capitalistic side or the greed side, uh, yeah, to, or the the showbiz side, money, the, whatever uh, it was that kind of took over and kind of corrupted his. The according to David Eddings, a crooked empire. Yeah, 
how that kind of overtook and he made the choices he made and did the things he did and mm -hmm. and and eventually came up with the ink machine yeah with the help of gent yeah that joey i think had issues mm -hmm. yeah but i think we find out in the dark revival that he had heart way 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 down deep inside but it all it all got buried with all that other gen yeah. corporate stuff yeah and then stuff. and then you find out that hen that the joey then you find out from that flashback you find out he had love that he made audrey out of love but you also find out that he created his own henry to eternally torture in an endless cycle so, you know, he yeah. kind of, he kind of, he tells you, I found love. And then he's like, but I also did this really, really bad yeah. thing. <laughs> well, that whole, that whole dark universe of, of the, you know, the, the studio world is, is all his, it's his creation, his, his creation. So he's responsible for all that. But I think it, I think the the inner um, the inner good Joey was kind of lost in all that. And, but what I like about Dark Revival is we find that he was in there at some point, at least if if you know he got lost yeah. at some point. I so. see. I don't really count when he in the whole Joey death scene at the end of the game. I don't think that that really counts as a redemption because it's not really Joey. Yeah, it's the it, cycle's memory of Joey. Right, and I don't, I don't even think, I, I don't think he even. It shouldn't even count as a redemption. What I I think counts is the whole drive behind that character of of what he's telling audrey and mm -hmm. how he's guiding her and and uh um kind of letting her know who she is and where she came from and what she's capable of i think that's that's the joey with heart the yeah caring joey uh he may never be able to redeem himself for all the things that he's he's done yeah. and created no matter how but... many cycles he goes through <laughs> but that is something that we can explore and in the future uh, with the next uh, installment if there is ever going to be one i uh i this is kind of off topic but i saw this this comic right of dark revival uh that takes that's like set after the game where audrey goes back into the cycle and she finds bendy uh demon bendy and uh she base she she hugs him and she tells him that she understands she knows all the pain that he's been through and yeah. she knows why he did what he did why he's why he's essentially this bad character that she knows he's not really evil and it yeah. ends with him turning into the good bendy and it's so it's so sweet it was such yeah. a sweet comic i do like yeah. that good bendy is in the real world at the end of the game i think that's kind of cool showing that the ink world's leaking into real life See, now that's that's a huge, huge thing. You you can have that. And that kind of gives us an idea for a sequel. What if there's the ink realm is leaking into the real world type of thing, you know? You know you know what we were joking about in that cast party I was talking about after the, the release of the Joey Drew music video? What's that? Is that at the end of the game, you know, you see Bendy in the real world, and then you see a uh, jet truck drive off, right? Mhm. Mm well, what happens if you know that jet uh, the, the ink machine's in the jet truck, isn't it? Was it? Or I don't it... know. I don't well, even remember there being a truck. <laughs> well, you have to watch the credits. Oh. It's oh. like in the credits afterwards? Well, well it's a, like a post-credit thing. What? I didn't know about this. <laughs> oh, I finally went up to you. Hey. Dang, you caught up to me. I finally got you. Did uh did you know that did you do you know about the other two endings in the game too? 
like at the very beginning of the game if you just sit at your desk and you don't go get up to get coffee yeah. it just the game ends she's like all right i guess we're working through the night and then the game ends oh no i didn't <laughs> and then that. if you find all the illusion of living books you get the what's called the insanity ending where it's her in a straight jacket audrey in a straight jacket in a padded cell oh, wow that's just cool. no, thrashing that. around during the credits so just watch the credits. But yeah, there, you, I mean, you caught quite, up to me. You just, caught up just, to just, me. Just watch the credits, and at the end, there's um, there's like a final shot. Dang you! And mm. and it, and it's a and it's a truck driving off that has, I think, the ink machine in it. And so we were joking in in that cast party, like, well, what if that truck gets in an accident? With in an a, accident, and everything with leaks a, in, and. Well, with the Super Mario Brothers truck, and then you know, now we got ink spewing through those pipes, and uh, there's like a crossover. In, Chris in Pratt gets and slapped in the yeah. face with a with an expert of ink. <laughs> and yeah, and Rick Dark Astley. <laughs> Are you looking it up right now? I am looking it up. I I. <laughs> Because now I'm very intrigued. No ah, there's a there's a friends commercial. There's a friends ad. Yeah. Let me see what what this is talking. What you're talking about. Are you gonna play this for everyone to see while you're? Uh, uh not yet, because I wanna I want them to see it in my playthroughs. I haven't released all my playthroughs yet. Are you watching? That is Did definitely the ink machine. With all of the parts for the pedestals. Yeah. The the plushie, the book, the Yeah. The record. Wow. What? How did I miss that? How did I what? miss that? How did I miss that? You got me. You got me. You You're got welcome. me. You, you thank you. You got me, man. So hmm. now, now, what does that do? What does that make you think? I don't know. I think that that just added another layer onto Bendy being in the real world. Yeah, and Audrey's finger, and Audrey's finger bending. <laughs> she has a she has a bendy finger, <laughs> a bendy finger. Um, that's the that's where we get the name Bendy from. It's all Audrey. It's all it's about all... Audrey's finger. It's all about your pointer <laughs> finger, Audrey. Can I? I'm gonna have somebody animate you saying that. Just it's all about your pointer finger, Audrey. <laughs> <laughs> and that's gonna. So, <laughs> and I'm gonna be like, this is what Dave Riva said. This is canon. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> your, your bendy finger can banish people, <laughs> Audrey. <laughs> Just a bend and a dream. Just a pencil and a dream, Audrey. That's all it really takes. Um, but yeah, that but but yeah, that kind of like, ooh, what's gonna happen? Now? What does the pointer finger mean, Audrey? <laughs> oh, okay. I was talking about the no, truck. yeah, the truck. I know, <laughs> I know. But did you hear, by the way, that song that I sent you earlier today? You know I what? Know. I I didn't I didn't see it yet. I, it, I saw it. It, it has Will. It has uh, Will sings in it. Da games. Yeah, I and might have listened to it already then. It's so good. Uh, he sings as Joey in it, and it's so good. It's so heartfelt we, and uh. See, you know, here's here's a here's a really cool thing about being a voice actor in in something like this is you know, we're all part of that cast, but we all live in different parts of the country and we yeah. never met. The only person I know in person from that game is Lonnie Manella. Mm -hmm. uh but a lot of us uh you know have spoken to each other in email chains and in chats and stuff like that but uh now i'm i'm uh much closer to the voice of audrey aaron uh lane mm -hmm. and when will and i started talking in our uh in our post uh joey drew music video release we were like we were kind of like <laughs> Hey, you're kind of cool. Hey, you're kind of cool. I kind of like, like you. you. I like you too, man. You're really cool, bro. And and so it, it's kind of fun getting to know each other like that. Yeah. And so and so when I would, I did like a little Joey thing for him. He was like, 
It's cool. like fan oh, going over it. <laughs> yeah, so we were, we're doing it off each other and stuff. So it's, it's he really, does a little really bit of Grant, cool. you know, Texas. Well, <laughs> well, yeah. And I was I was telling him because I go, I love I love your little whistle in in your and I can't do it. I can't do that. Texas. He went, he went, through, all, he went to, through his whole thing like how he does the the whistle and how he, he couldn't do it for a while. And then when he finally the when whistle. he finally discovered the little whistle, he he it just came. It and, became part of Grant. Grant's yeah, character. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, so, I wanted we're, to we're, say... Uh, we're fanboying off each other. This is going to be the first anyone in, who watches my videos is going to hear of this, but I'm going to share this info with you, and now they're going to know that this exists. I am working on my own song for Bendy. I'm oh, writing really? I'm writing a song, yeah. I've met a friend who does... Uh, instrumentals who makes instrumentals as a hobby yeah yeah they like making background instrumentals right now in this inst in this video guys the song you've been hearing on loop this entire time you haven't been able to hear it dave but all my the people in the video will because i'm gonna add it in post my my friend made this little 30s cantina style piano playing that's about four minutes long. That is the basically the choruses of a bunch of different fan bendy songs on piano that mix together into this one little song, this little medley that's going to be playing behind this video the whole time. Ow. And it's just this cute little bendy medley, and it's awesome. But you haven't released it yet? I So this medley is going to be in this video, and... But I may, I'm working on, like, an actual, like, singing lyrics, like, full-on song... And we're calling it, so far, I'll tell you the name. I'll let you in on this little secret. Because it's kind of about your character. It's about Mr. Drew. It is called The Sins of an Artist. Oh my gosh. And it's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. I'm not That's getting, a badass it's, title. It's a good, it's a good name. Yeah, that's it's, an it's awesome It's especially title. for Joey. For a song wow. about Joey, the sins of an artist. The sins of an artist. That's that's badass. Yes, yes. I'm so. Well, cool. Congratulations! I can't wait to hear it. Yes, thank you, thank you. You'll be the first person who will hear it. <laughs> so, so I, are you singing as Joey in it? <laughs> there will be parts where I will sing as Joey. All so right. your little tip so, will help me. Your little tip you gave me will help. Yeah, it's it's. It's kind of, a, kind, of, a, kind of grovelly old man. There's a kind of a grovelly old little thing in the Joey voice. Just you see, loo Audrey, we... Uh, wait, loo what? Loo loosen up, loosen up the, all this. All right, all loosen up the voice a little bit. Uh, let, let your lower jaw kind of... Let your jaw kind of... Go a little loose. All right, I'm trying to think of a good line that I could say. Just because you were made from the darkness doesn't mean you belong to it, Audrey. Yeah. It doesn't mean you belong to it, Audrey. A good practice line to get the Joey range is um is like uh you, you kinda kinda get a throat voice and then you you say like you know You go know, Nothing is too good for our Joey Drew family. Why we're cooking up something good in the kitchen, and then it kind of goes up through okay. the to the like, to the ceiling. You know, when, when, whenever he, when, whenever he gets into that creative that that idea thing, or there's something neat or something coming. Why that's when the, we're that's cooking when the up in the kitchen? That's when the yeah. fantasy takes over. That's there's like a little. That's about when the little, fantasy takes over. And then what I really admired from David Edding's version was the at least the clip that i had to go off of was he had a sense of of wonderment he and, did have a bit of a uh, kind of like a henry come visit the yeah. workshop there's something yeah. i want to show you yeah he had a little bit of wonder in his voice yeah, yeah that's exactly what it was yeah and, and that and that was kind of that was that was the key um there there's there's um there's there's kind of a stern guy in there uh with kind of waivers but then there's a little bit of showman in there too like he's doing a tour and he's got to keep the patrons happy but then here in joey drew he, studios well, but then he but then he dreams sometimes sometimes you just got to dream <laughs> yeah 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 with this pencil 
<laughs> with his with his pencil, yes. It's always got, don't, it's, don't forget see, the pencil or it or it doesn't work. You see here at Joey here at Joey Drew Studios, there's always a pencil in my ear. <laughs> 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 there's always a reason for the there... pencil, Audrey. <laughs> there's always a reason, Audrey. There's always a reason. I, I can't. I can't get it. There's yeah, always you, a reason. You know what might what might help is you just got to do some vocal warm ups, get your voice sounding nice and warm and raspy. Drink maybe 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 drink like some whiskey or smoke some cigarettes <laughs> or something like that just to kind of get a like a resonance going if i was 21 i would do that <laughs> okay yeah bad advice bad Don't advice <laughs> mr drew yeah spit it out spit it out audrey <laughs> <laughs> audrey you're not old enough to be drinking whiskey <laughs> shouldn't be touching that stuff it'll 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 change you audrey <laughs> It'll corrupt yeah. you. You'll see. You'll see pink demons. Pink demons. <laughs> you'll see all kinds of craziness. Audrey, don't drink, don't smoke, and don't drive. Yeah. But yeah, just uh, yeah. Do, do do open your throat up or do some vocal. You gotta open uh, your throat up, Audrey. Uh, uh, and then and then. And then let it relax in the back of your throat. And then you kind of, you kind of let Joey relax in the back of your throat. There you go. There's your, I'm, there's I, a... Mr. Dave Rivas, I think I'm starting to get it. I think, yeah. I think I'm, <laughs> I, I think I'm starting to understand. <laughs> Join us for the next episode of uh, Poetic uh, Minecraft for how to talk like Yes, join uh, us. Join us for the next episode of the Poetic Minecart and learn exactly how you're supposed to talk like Joey Drew. Yeah, or 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 someone else. Welcome to the <laughs> welcome to the Poetic Minecart. Here at the Poetic Minecart, we we believe in quality entertainment. <laughs> We only put out the best videos for you. That's why there's sometimes a three-month break in between our posts. And you too can sound like Joey Drew. If you just subscribe. <laughs> oh. Hit that, hit that uh, subscribe button. Thank you, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that'll be a thousand dollars. I'll pay it. I'll pay the toll. I'll pay the toll for this. This is worth it. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to work out the percentage rates when you get your thousand followers. Tell Joey to subscribe to your channel. That will cost you one thousand dollars. <laughs> don't forget to just don't for, don't forget to <laughs> subscribe to the Poetic Minecart. Yes! <laughs> That's all I ever wanted, Mr. Drew. Thank you. <laughs> that I'm going to put that at the beginning of the video. I'm going to use that at the end of every video. <laughs> Subscribe now so Dave Revis will get a cut. <laughs> yes! It's all about... You see, here at Joey Drew Studios... It's all about cash. <laughs> it's all about money. <laughs> Some people think that we do this for... For the entertainment, for the love, for the magic of entertainment! But what we, But what we really want, everybody, at the end of the day, it's cold hard cash. We want the ink on the check. We want the ink <laughs> on the check, everybody. <laughs> I'm kind of getting the voice a little bit, I think. I'm yeah, Joey I... Drew, and here at Joey Drew Studios, we believe in cooking in the kitchen. Because what we're going to do here for you is make a dream with nothing but a pencil. It's pretty insane. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm... <sighs> I gotta tell you, I'm real shaking in my boots for the next uh, installment of the Bendy game. <laughs> it's going to be cooking with Mr. Drew. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe there'll be like a... Uh, uh, we'll finally know how to make bacon soup. <laughs> maybe there'll be like a 19-year-old version of, of Joey. <laughs> <laughs> how old are you? 
I'm 17. Oh, 17. Well, maybe there's a 17 year old version of Maybe uh, there will be a. Bendy. Wait, let me try and get of Bendy. <laughs> Uh, Joey. Uh, let me <laughs> let me try and make a uh, imagine that that little cute Bendy as a teenager. <laughs> like Audrey, oh. I don't want dreams anymore. I want money. Yeah, and all he says is, "I am Bendy." I am said, Bendy. I said, "I, I am Groot." Bendy. Yeah, I am Bendy. <laughs> we I am Bendy. are Bendy. <laughs> yeah, we are. We are Bendy. It's like his baby ink demon voice. Like we are Bendy. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, like it's like yeah. Venom on second thoughts. <laughs> hey, I, he, I bet you uh, Venom is like a cousin or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Bendy's like a symbiote. He can possess yeah, people. They, I mean, they look alike. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they do. They do look similar. Um. Okay. I I still have two questions left for this interview. All right, Mister Drew, are you ready to bring it home? <laughs> Bring it on home is what I say. Is it now? <laughs> well, that's what I just said. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> What's your next question? All right. Are you going to answer this as Joey? <laughs> okay. Uh, is it is it appropriate uh, to answer? Do you think it'll? Yes, it'll I, it well? actually is very appropriate. All right. Let's see how it goes. If you could give everyone watching a word of advice. Whether they want to voice act or not, no matter what they want to do, do you have a word of advice to people to chase their dreams? You know, that's a really good question, JT. And I gotta say, always follow your dreams, whatever they are. If you don't, might have regrets one day and you just don't want to live with that if you have a dream to become a voice artist put your mind to it and go keep going until you get there and even if you don't I'm sure you're gonna have a great time on the ride. That was beautiful. Thank you, Mr. Drew. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Drew. My heart. <laughs> well, that, yeah, and basically that's that's pretty much it. Uh, if you, if you want to become a voice actor, and it's or your an advice too. Anything, it's not just Joey. Yeah, yeah. Just just pursue it. Uh, if you. Um, <laughs> Just look into it and and find workshops or classes or find stuff that 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 you like. If it's a commercial or a, a scene from TV or a movie or something like that, transcribe it or, or get a copy of it and and record it. And if you want to get real fancy with it, you can put some sound and uh, effects to it you, just for yourself. Yeah. And uh, and have fun with it and, and then just start looking around for uh, how to how to just keep keep going like to the next level, you know, how to take voiceover workshops or invest in some um, some simple equipment to get started and um, and just go from there, you know, do some webinars or something like that. And, uh, and, and even if, you know, you, you don't make it, you know, like, uh, you know, sometimes it takes 20 years to be discovered overnight, but it's not about, like I said, you know, I've had, I've been fortunate enough to play so many great characters, but it, it wasn't always about that specific character that I attained it was about the whole experience around that character. So it's about the ride. It's about yeah. getting there. That's that's the part. That's that's the success. That's the making it is actually doing it and working towards that goal. Uh, certain goals you may never uh, obtain, but all along the way, you're going to have great experiences to learn new things, meet fantastic people, and there's nothing like it. So. Uh, uh, 
it's better to, to give it a shot and work towards it rather than not and miss out on all that good stuff. Like yeah. my friend Joey would say. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wise words from a wise man. I hope you're having a good time. I am. <laughs> I hope the viewers are having a good time. I hope, I hope you're all in... your viewers are having a good time. I hope you're I hope... having a good time. I am. I really am. It's honestly been an honor to meet you and talk with you. It's it's incredible. Like that's that's so nice of you. You're to say. Thank you very you're much. very inspiring. I, you uh, that, are incredibly inspiring. If I'm nothing else, I hope to be inspiring. Um, to be an inspiration. Yeah. yeah. I, I hope to be. To I inspire. hope I can. I hope I can be that someday for people. Well, look at look at you now. You're 17 years old, and you're conducting a, an interview with with your characters from one of your favorite video games. How many other people do you know at your age are doing that? None. Goose the egg. only the only guy I know who interviews people in this style is Daco. I don't know if you know Daco. I think he had a character in the game, in Bendy. He does have yeah. a character, I just can't remember his name. But, uh, he's some deep, gruff British guy, but, in the game. But, I do remember, like, oh, he, he had the one in the first game about the plushies. He making the plushies and how Joey didn't like him or whatever. And, uh... I, like, he does interviews sometimes, he, he, back in the day, he did interviews with Five Nights at Freddy's voice actors, and yep. he's, he's in his, like, 30s, or late 20s, and yeah. I'm doing this stuff at 17, and it can only go yeah. up from here, like, I could get Lauren, or I could get, Sh I'm gonna get Sean, I think, he's all but yeah. confirmed that he's going to yeah. do an interview with me, and yeah. I just, it's just incredible what I've been able to do, like, the fa like, also, you want to know something else incredible that I did at, like, 14 years old? I published a novel. <laughs> I have a published novel. I do. It's, uh... Was it, was it the illusion of giving? <laughs> I think I read it. <laughs> The Illusion of Living, written by JT. <laughs> yeah. Well, it'd be, you, you couldn't plagiarize The Illusion of Living, so it'd probably the have to be like, The Illusion of Giving. The Illusion of Schmivling. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's um, it's actually pretty cool. It's about 156 pages. Um, it is a kind of a children's story. There's a little bit of foul language in it, but it is... Um, about Irish pirates, and it's really cool. Well, I, I, Irish pirates are cool, and they do use a little bit of foul language. <laughs> a little bit of foul language. No, that's really, gosh, that's really cool, man. You know, you're doing great. <laughs> Whatever. I don't think I give myself enough credit. I'm like, oh, I haven't done anything, and then I realize no, that no, I've no, done this stuff. That I'm you're, sitting you're here with you at my computer talking to yeah. one of my favorite voice actors ever. So, you know, hey, it's hey, just kind well, of a I, I, I'm, I'm doing better than I think I am. Yeah, no, you're you're doing fine. And it's not because me. I'm just a guy. I'm just Dave. But you're, you're doing fantastic. You're doing a lot more than I was doing at your age. Thank you. So uh, so uh, keep would, doing it. Would you and whatever? Can... <laughs> Sorry. No, you keep going. I, I no, I was just gonna say whatever whatever keeps coming to mind that you want to do, um, just do it. Just, would you? Just do it. I wanted to ask, would you kind of consider this like a like a anywhere near professional type of interview? I feel like I've conducted it pretty well. It's not just you know sitting in a room with the person asking them questions. I'm. It's like you know getting to know the people that I talk to. I feel yeah, like that's I, kind of a good thing. Yeah, I, I think that's a great thing, and I've been a part of many different interviews and and podcasts and mm -hmm. things like that. I produce podcasts myself, um, and my favorite style is just having a conversation. 
and uh, for many like serious topics and serious issues and things like that. But something like this, th to me, this is the best. It, like you're having, we're having fun, we're, we're just laughing, laughing, we're, having fun. we're goofing off. Yeah. And, I mean, to me, that's. Neither That's of us are on a time it. crunch. It's just, we're just laid yeah. back, chilling. Yeah. Oh yeah, and not today. Like, I, I just happened to have a lot of stuff going on last week and then coming up in, in next week, but- Today was a great day. Today was a great day. Today, was Th today worked day. out for us and here we are just goofing off, enjoying our day off. I love it, so. Yeah, I um, have, and I have auditions I think, I think, for I think, a musical I think tomorrow. you're doing a great job. I, I admire how you reached out and asked me to, to do this just that's, straight up tweeted awesome. at you like yo hey hi i'm a small youtuber want to talk <laughs> yeah yo, yeah that's really, really I, cool. I i i'm very i'm very humbled by like what well i was humbled when you were having mic trouble that was kind of a okay i'm not the only one i was no, like no no i was like this is this is this is he's just a, he's a guy like me you know he and just, i'll tell he you does what things. I'll, I'll tell you what not to that extreme uh, that I, you know, but it happens during sessions. Like not, it'll be like, oh wait, what's going on with my settings? And sometimes the client or whoever it is will go, oh yeah, I had that problem. This is what you do, and you help each other when you yeah. can. Yeah. Um, sometimes, sometimes it's like a fan noise from my computer, and it's like, okay, how are we going to take care of that so that doesn't happen next time? You relocate the computer so it's in another room, or you do something about a better fan, or dump some, you know, memory or whatever you got to do to 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 take care of the problem. But mm -hmm. these these problems do happen uh, during sessions, you know? And so you gotta have like a, um, a, like a plan B or, you know, you don't necessarily have to plan it out, but you gotta be able to think on your feet, like, well, how are we going to fix this and make it work yeah. like this? We're, we are not recording this on my regular yeah, studio he, mic. He, guys, he's recording this with his MacBook mic, by the way. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> none of his professional mics were doing the job, but no, nothing's working with uh discord for nothing's I have, working. I have, I have, I have I have bad luck with Discord, so it happens. And and I was thinking, yeah, oh god, this is great. I'm going on a little uh, talk show for uh, as a, as a Joey Drew as a voice actor. And, <laughs> and my and I, mic and I, isn't and, working. And I can't get my stuff all together in one sock. Like this isn't working out very well. But, but it happened. It it was it's it's been and also. I was kind of see I kind of, I reached out to a few people on the same day that I reached out to you. Some some people I sent DMs, some people I tweeted out at publicly. And I immediately got a response from you and I was I was kind of surprised. I was like, "Wow, I just like immediately got a response from him." I was like, "That's pretty cool." And yeah. then and then Sean replied the next day. Yeah. And was like the uh, send me a link to your channel i'll check it out and i'll let you know and yeah. he kind of went dark uh for about a week and i messaged him yesterday and he said hey sorry it's been taking so long i've been a little bit busy lately but yeah. uh i can check i'm gonna i'm going to check it out this week like this coming yeah. week and i yeah. was like uh, I, I was like take your time man i know you're busy i understand it's like totally okay this is just kind of an off shot type thing that i just want to do for fun so if you have like actual business things to do with that's your top yeah. priority like this is just an if you have an extra day of fun for your fun yeah. time and he was like yeah i i'll definitely try to make time for this like i just gotta i'll check out your channel i'll see what what i think of it and if it's if i if i think that it'll be good then i'll do it yeah and and that's how it goes sometimes you know i just happen to see it when you sent it mm -hmm. i have other people that i'm working with right now that it took me like a week to return their email so it just it depends on like the timing and schedules and things like that and you know some so, some actors or some guests that you have on your show just you know, might have a time constraint so you just got to be aware of that and stuff like mm -hmm. that but but no, this is working out for me, and I'm I'm uh, I'm glad it did, and yeah. you know, we're having a good time. So cool. I um I want I tried to find uh, Aaron Landon to reach out mm -hmm. to him, Sam and Lawrence, but mm -hmm. he doesn't appear to have Twitter mm -hmm. or Instagram mm -hmm. or an active email. He's kind of like 
off the charts. So <laughs> he's off the grid a little bit. I don't know if he was uh, in your guys' email chain. I'm sure he was, but. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, you know what? You keep looking. You, you got to You got to try your best, you know? Keep looking, keep trying. I, I am not in the position to, to give out anybody's No, of course email, not, but, no. But, but you know what? If you keep looking, you keep searching, and uh, and you you might come up with some stuff. Who knows? Yeah. But, you but know, I think you're doing great. I think you're you. doing great with me. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here. I'm still here two and a half hours later. I'm enjoying this. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's all a good time. I, um... But, yeah, if you... Uh, maybe once I, maybe in like seven months when I get around to posting this, <laughs> it, it'll probably be next week. I'll be honest. Maybe, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get maybe I'll have it. my, uh, mic problems uh, figured out by then. Maybe, too. maybe, possibly. Maybe. maybe you, um, maybe, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, I'm blaming discord. I'm totally blaming discord. Yeah, it's discord's fault. We got to blame discord. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking of also trying to figure out how to turn this into a podcast that I can put on like Amazon Music and Spotify, but I don't really know how to do that. I don't know how to like publish a podcast. Yeah, it's pretty simple. You're do everything you're doing here is you're, you're ready to go. So you just have to open an account with a, a podcast platform. Like, do you have any recommendations? Do you think you could like send me some links after this so I can see about figuring yeah. it out? Absolutely. And is it and a the thing that you I... have to like pay for to do and stuff? And um, I'd assume so. Yeah, but you can. But you can get like a like really inexpensive uh, subscriptions. I think like for as low as like around 10 bucks a month or something like that and um and that way when you get your 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 show all cut together then you post it to this this um podcast master platform and then you just click on which uh which other platforms you want it to go out on and you send it out and it goes out to everyone it's pretty simple i mean you've got a lot going on with discord uh, the way you're engineering your session here. Yeah. It, you, 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 like uh, you saw, podcast. you saw the whole background thing yeah, yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. So, so podcasting is much simpler. It's much simpler because it's just audio. And I'm yeah. very familiar well, with audio editing and audio like styling yeah. and all that stuff. Um, I did want to uh, ask something real quick. So what I've done with my previous interviews is I have them, like, do, like, some funny face or some cool serious face or something and then take a screenshot of that and then edit the the background thing around it to put as the thumbnail. So if you have any, any fun faces for us that I could put on the thumbnail. Oh, oh for the show? Yeah, for the show. Are you, and you're going to do a screenshot? I'm just going to screenshot it, and uh, unless you'd rather take a picture and send it to me for me to put, edit in. I don't know. I'll figure something out. Um, if it'll look better if you actually, like, instead of a screenshot, if you actually, like, take a here, picture of it or something. I'll use a prop. You can, you can, you can screenshot this. <laughs> That's the look. That's the money look. There we go. How's that? That's that's the that's the I'm Joey Drew. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's that's some of that. <laughs> that that screenshot will be available on my Streamly account, uh, <laughs> February 9th and 10th. I did I did also <laughs> want to ask, like, um, after being Joey Drew, have you been like contacted at all any more than you usually would about? being like offered parts for things has anybody like said i want you in my thing since joey's been a thing because i feel like that would be a character that people would see and be like i want to try and get like cast this voice actor because he's good at what he does um not not really but what it has done is like i say how how uh the cast has actually been really close, which mm -hmm. is really odd. 
uh, as far as my experience with voice acting in in the past, to have people you, who are like friends and stuff. Well, yeah, you don't you don't you don't know the other actors. Like in the world of Star Trek Online, I've done scenes with like all a lot of the characters from the TV shows and movies, but we've never met. We've never been in the same room. We've never recorded at the same time. We all do mm -hmm. it on our own. Um. So the Bendy Other cast video. is special, I feel like. Well, it is now. Um, and then in the days, you know, this is kind of stuff that happened in the past when we would go to a certain studio. You see the other actors in passing, like if one actor has a time slot from one to two, mm -hmm. um, when their session is done, they're leaving the next person that has a session for the same game at 215 they, they might show up at 215 and they might be waiting out in the lobby or something like that or sometimes they might be in the the engineer's control room or something like that kind of watching some actors don't like other people in the studio other actors in the studio yeah. when they're recording um and so you see each other in passing that's about it this bendy cast We've all been communicating since the release, and we, we've we all have like a different relate, a, a bigger, fonder relationship of each other since, and so stuff like that kind of creates like, yeah, well maybe I'll give Dave a call, or maybe I'll give Aaron a call yeah. for that next, yeah, or maybe we'll you know work together on something in the future. In that way, I mean, may, it's kind of creating relationships for maybe things to happen in the future um but as far as other uh agencies or companies or clients contacted me because of joey drew not really not really there's so many different genres so many different uh uh games uh companies out there um and they all have their reasons for casting who they want um Unless, you know, it's a, it's a big time celebrity and they want them for a certain reason. You know, I, I, I really don't, I really haven't gotten any more offers after, you know, the release of uh, Dark Revival. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I would hope, you know, I would love it if, if it, that did happen. But it if hasn't. it did kind of. Oh, but what has happened is, again, the fans, the fandoms, the fans have just been so amazing and so incredible and so welcoming and and the things uh with the like the fan art and the songs and the books and everything the, yeah and, I... and uh <laughs> and the way and the way they respond if i like a picture or something they'll be like oh my like god he, was, he liked yeah, my photo yeah if I, if, I, if I say oh that's cool oh nice that was really cool i get like Oh my God! It's you, <laughs> you know <laughs> stuff like that. I mean, it's like it's just I'm just a guy. I'm, I'm just, just a, a guy. dude. I'm just a dude. Yeah, that's I, I'm just. Wa I'm excited to to cut out that little Joey Drew motivational speech <laughs> bit and show it to my friend who was super excited for me to interview you. He's like, "Oh my God, you're interviewing the guy!" And I was like, "Yeah, I'm interviewing the guy." And he was like, "Dude, like." like you gotta let me see it after you're done i was like i will and i'm gonna show him that little motivational speech you gave earlier and just as joey because that's just it's so like it's it's not joey see that's the thing now that i've gotten to know you in these two and a half hours that we've been talking i'm beginning to realize that you are joey in a way but without any of the bad stuff Without any of the, the corrupt, like, b road of danger, road of death and destruction and self-destruction. You are everything good about Joey, and I see it when I'm talking to you and getting to know you. That's cool. Thank you. I, I And I gotta say, like, when we recorded uh, uh, Dark Revival, there was a lot of effort to put a lot of heart into the character you have to and, have heart and and not you know not obviously not just for audrey but for 
his original uh, care of of the studio and the dream and Benji like in the studio and, recordings and, and, and yeah and and of the fans and mm -hmm. of uh, you know people touring the studio and even of the employees um, like Carl. Originally... <laughs> <laughs> Why here's Carl? <laughs> Carl's Carl just hanging around. <laughs> but 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 you know what I mean? I, yeah. I mean that 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 good intention that that um to to borrow you know another hang in there Carl figure, <laughs> to barrel to borrow a parallel figure to like a Walt Disney yeah you know to give hope and there, that there was a lot of effort to make sure that all that was that the showman the showman side but not a cheap uh you know cheesy showman and i feel guy. like walt there, disney could be, be seen in the same way he on the outside he's this like majorly awesome super cheery guy with a lot of heart but i'm sure in walt disney there was a side that people didn't know there was the money side of walt disney i'm sure there was he couldn't yeah. have just been a guy of all heart he there had he was... to be there had to be this 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 joey in walt disney yeah it, you, you gotta have uh uh, because you know, that, it's that, he's that. it's like it's like he's he's a, he's he wants to make money he's capitalizing well, yeah. on it's it's all a capitalism thing yeah. it's just it, it's like i say like that 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 capitalistic side that business side took over uh yeah the need he, for more and the power in that that kind of takes over but but it all it all starts out with good intentions mm -hmm. and um so we really really uh made an effort to to have a heart for Joey in uh, the Dark Revival. Yeah, and from the and from the moment you see him, and everybody has the same reaction too when you walk into that room. He's like, "Oh, it's Joey!" And he's <laughs> up on the catwalk, and everybody goes, "Joey, is that Joey?" <laughs> kind of that oh, wonder. God, it's Joey, it's that wonder. It's and like, then Joey, yeah. And then he's just like, "Hey, come on up. I wanna, I wanna tell you something. I wanna show you something." <laughs> and and then uh, he's there's just, something oh, I he's, want to show you. <laughs> yeah, he, he's he's really he's he's kind of cool, you know. Unlike the last installment of Joey, <laughs> <laughs> the last installment of Joey was a he's little leaning over his kitchen counter. <laughs> Henry, come visit the old workshop. There's something yeah. I need to show you. <laughs> yeah, and then that's but... where it becomes a loop, an eternal cycle of torment. But cool. So yeah, I think I think. Um, so I don't even with know those if that Joey... So with those intentions, I think a, a lot of me uh, and my heart comes through. Yeah. So I, I appreciate you saying that. You're yeah. right. Yeah. Thank you. <sighs> You're welcome, Mr. Drew. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird for me that you know. It's weird for me too. So. Yeah. <laughs> people walk up to you if they like hear you like i don't think anyone would recognize you in public i really don't but uh, people don't recognize me from my video game characters but you know i've done like a couple commercials or something that you know people would i remember i was in a subway one time and <laughs> And some guy turned around and goes, hey, I just saw you on TV. Or I was like speaking at something and some guy walking by goes, I just saw you on TV. <laughs> what, what kind of, what kind of commercials the, the, like have you old, been in? Old commercials. I, I do, I sometimes I've done some like local, local businesses and stuff like that. Um, but there was one... <laughs> There was one that played here in San Diego for years and years, and it was for a college that's not even there anymore. Called, if you look up Mueller College, M yeah, um, M U E L L E R, I played a hypnotherapist in the 2012 video that I found. Yeah, and it's it's people. There you ask, are. <laughs> And it's just ta people talking about the different courses you can take at Mueller College. It's weird seeing and, you without glasses. <laughs> and that's and a different human being. <laughs> and this commercial ran for years here in San Diego, and I'd be like at a doctor's office, and people go, "Hey, you're that guy from TV." <laughs> <laughs> and then you're just like, <laughs> "Yeah." 
Yeah, yeah. But like that stuff like that, sometimes you get recognized, but I never get recognized for my voice work. Yeah. It would be but imagine then, imagine then, someday you're just walking around and you say hi to somebody at like a store and they're like, oh, Joey Drew? <laughs> yeah, I well, think that'd people, be interesting what, if people what, recognize. what does happen is it what does happen is if I have done a commercial that is popular and people know the phrase in it like the catchphrase or or um the tag or something like that then they go oh yeah yeah that is you like here in san diego we used to have um i used to be the spokesperson for viejas casino and back then the the tagline was um viejas casino and outlet center off willows road and alpine easy to get to hard to leave and when and if uh, people hear that they go oh my god that is you and there's <laughs> other things like that where i've done the you know the the tag and they recognize it when i say it in front of them but but you never get recognized yeah uh, by your face mm -hmm. yeah that makes sense yeah nah. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense yeah <laughs> <laughs> So you got you got you got to tell your friend that like yeah, Joey and I got a thing. <laughs> <laughs> we got an inside joke. No, I'm gonna I gotta go to him and be like, man, Joey's an asshole. No, no yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, just no fake wonder. it. Yeah, he said he said tell me is if he's a good guy or not, and I'm gonna yeah. tell him he was an asshole. I hate yeah. him. That, they cast that, him. They cast him as the new Joey because he he's was like the old Joey. <laughs> but he came across like being a nicer Joey. It was all it a was facade. Really, it was acting it was, at its finest. It was really trippy. It was really acting. <laughs> I mean, he's an actor for a reason, but damn. Yeah. Boy, he's good. He's good at pretending to be the nicest guy. Yeah. <sighs> man this has been amazing <laughs> well thank you this I, is I... I think the biggest interview I've had thus far because and, uh, I mean, I'm your second <laughs> you're my third you're my third third times the charm am I right nice yeah maybe cool. this one will get a lot of views the other ones haven't <laughs> Like well, my my second one has like ninety views, and then the first mm. one has like hundred and eighty. Maybe 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 you can promote this on your Twitter. Be like, hey, this is a cool thing I did. Joey makes an appearance, and then just send people on over. <laughs> yeah, if if there's like cool fan stuff that I see out there, I I retweet it. You put it in the email chain. I'm joking, by the way, but you put it in yeah. the email chain with the cast members. Yeah. Like, hey, I'm I'm here. I did this thing. Well, <laughs> you know what? We've we've done that. We've shared stuff with each other. And if we if any of us see like fan art or we experience something cool, we share it with each other. So there's this cool fan art I gotta send to you. Also, someone told me, <laughs> someone saw. Um, so it was a it was a pic. Someone sent me a picture of young Joey. It's like that 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 one that's like everybody knows where he's kind of like looking like real happy and confident. That Joey yeah. uh, from the game. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And someone yeah. said, my friend messages me with that picture and he says, he looks like he's about to ask me for pictures of Spider Man. <laughs> like, uh, what's his name? Uh, the. Uh, what's the. What's the name of the guy from Spider Man? Peter Parker? No, the. the J. Jonah Jameson. J. Jonah Jameson, yes. Yeah. It looks like he was like, he looks like he's about to ask me for pictures of Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> they, you know what i bet you jay jonah jameson and joey are like second cousins or something too <laughs> yeah this is yeah. canon guys this is canon he's their second yeah. cousins this is just just fan theory fan theory this is fanon it's like canon but for fans fanon yeah fanon. that's a good term yes, yeah fanon. definitely uh 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 keep that is that a real term or just i think i up? think it is i i've heard it before i don't know Fanon? how many yeah okay 
I don't know how many no, people I, use it, but it, I'm pretty sure it is an actual thing. I like that a lot. So all this, everything I've said today is all fanon. Yes, this is all fanon. Everything you've said in a Joey voice, at least. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. I think it's safe to say that that Joey emotional speech you did, that chase your dreams thing, that's practically canon. <laughs> that yeah. it's it's something Joey would say. I will say yeah. that it's something he I, really would say. I think that's something Joey would. say. But I can't say it's actually his because I'll get sued. But you know, yeah, it, it it's it's something Joey would say, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Well. Something I would say in his voice. Yes. Yes. Something. <laughs> I, safe. I'm, you're like, I'm a Joey Drew impersonator. I don't know who Joey Drew is. <laughs> Pencil in a dream? What's that? I have texting. <laughs> Pencil in a dream. Uh, I'm glad you liked that. I'm glad you found that funny. <laughs> oh, it's, it's hilarious. I, it's, I'm just jumping around this room, smacking the walls. I'm Joey well, Drew. <laughs> well, you know what it is, is I love all the different versions that I see and hear of <laughs> Joey Drew. I like all the, all the different fan art, all the different styles mm -hmm. of art. And it, it, it's all good. I love it all. Here, and, I'm going to, I have this one let me see if I can send it to you real quick. There's this, there was this, this Joey, there was this Bendy art that I saw that was, I think I downloaded it. It was insanely cool. Also, I'm getting a Joey, uh, I'm having a Joey, like, my own personal character being made, actually. Uh, my, an original character, and her name is, uh, Kitty the Cougar. And uh, let me send you the picture that they drew. You can check the our chat. This is this is the official art for Kitty the Cougar. Oh wow, wow. Yeah, yeah. That looks total canon. It totally looks like a Bendy character. It does. It really I like does. The tail. It's super yeah. cool. I and uh, so her the human who you know eventually becomes Ink her. I'm calling her Emily right now. That's what her name is. I don't know if that's going to change, but at the moment, that's her name. Um, let me... I found some of the Bendy art I wanted to send you, but not all of it. Um, but yeah, uh, I just, I really like all this, like, I just, it's such a great... It's such a great fandom. It, it the, is fantastic. The, the Bendy fandom is just incredible. Like I said, you know, I've been voicing characters for 23, 24 years, and I've never, ever experienced anything as like the fandom of Bendy. And I thought Star Trek was a huge fan base. Mm -hmm. um, and they are, but people go nuts for bendy and like i say anytime i'm speaking somewhere and i bring it up someone in the room go, what like i wasn't listening but i but i am now you know yeah all right i found two of the things i wanted to share with you but it it's pretty cool uh there they're sending oh yeah wow like wow that's the that's fan art in the fan of, art uh, in this of the Alice Angel one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty. The scent from above, intense. it's really cool. Yeah. I yeah, think that's, that that makes you think like, ooh, the the Bendy live action movie. Oh yes, I was talking with a friend about what our fan cast would be if if there was a Bendy movie. Um, let me see what we said. Let me see. Um. I, I made my own fan cast. I said uh, James Earl Jones would be the Ink Demon. Wow. Uh, I said Joey would be... Voice, the voice of James Earl Jones. Yeah. I said uh, Joey would probably be George Clooney. He's the best I could find for that kind of... He's the best I could get from what I was looking for. Uh, Edward Norton for Henry. For Henry Stein. Yeah. That, that fits yeah. well. 
Uh, yeah. Angelina kind Jolie of sad is looking. Anna, Angelina Jolie is Alice Angel. Alice Angel, yeah. Um, Robbie Amell is Sammy. I don't know who Robbie Amell is. Uh, if you've ever seen, uh, have you seen the movie The Babysitter? Kind of a scary really? movie. He plays the jock guy who never wears a shirt. Um, he was in The Flash. He played, uh... Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, that him. guy. And wow. I think that's... That, that, that would be Sammy? Cast. Yeah, as Sammy. Yeah. Yeah, he's got the... He's, he's got, got the... the bo Sammy he, body. <laughs> yeah, he definitely has the abs for Sammy. Yeah. yeah. That's for certain. Oh, well, I, th thanks, thanks for not casting me in that movie, too. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'll, sorry. I'll keep that in mind for our next interview. No! <laughs> no, don't take... <laughs> Don't take it to heart, Mr. Hey, Rivas. It's, it's all right, you know. Um, you know, you... To go with George Clooney over me, that's that's so... That's I was allowable. just trying to think of... Because uh, I don't think visually people would see you as Joey Drew. That's the only right. thing I was thinking. I, was, right. I was keeping that in mind as yeah. well. No, no, no. no. Yeah. I, he, George Clooney would just have to move his lips and I'll, I'll voice the character. <laughs> that, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> the entire movie, he's just going. Yeah. And then your voice yeah. is just coming out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he has like a he has a speaker like in the back of his mouth that you're wiggle speaking his... through. <laughs> George Clooney just wiggle his head, and I'll do all the talking for him. <laughs> I don't know. I was trying to find a good actor. One of my friends said. Jake said J.K. Simmons as jo as Joey, but I was like, I feel like. J.K. Simmons at the age of Spider-Man Two would have yeah. been a be would have yeah. been a good Joey at yeah. his current age in like his seventies or sixties or whatever reason. Yeah, I don't think yeah. he'd play a good Joey. Maybe yeah. old Joey in the kitchen leaning on the counter, he'd be able to yeah, play yeah, that yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but I he wouldn't play young Joey. Yeah, and and again, again, J. Jonah Jameson is kind of like kind of already did it. He's kind of a, yeah, he kind of already played Joey a little bit. Um, I'm trying to think. Do you have any ideas of who would be Joey Drew in a mo in a live action movie? I can't think of any like actors around that age range who would who would fit that role. I mean, I mean, there's uh, what's the name of the guy who played Alfred in Dark Knight? Oh yeah, there's that guy. I don't know if he'd play a good Joey though. I don't think Michael he would... Michael Caine. Michael Caine, yeah, Michael Caine. Interesting. Uh, Englishman. Yeah. But he's too old to play young Joey. I'm trying to think of who'd play like a 40s Joey, you know? But I can't think of anybody who'd play like a 40-year-old Joey. It can't be someone who's like overwhelmingly hot because that's not Joey. <laughs> well, <laughs> Like it what? can't be Zac Efron. <laughs> but... Zac, Zac uh, Square Jaw Efron? Yeah. Um, well, what do, you, what do your viewers think? Yeah, guys, tell us down below. Who do you think would play Joey Drew in a live-action Bendy movie? Um, if you even stayed this long into the interview to hear this question. Um, totally. <laughs> I, like, my average viewing on videos is, like, they watch two minutes and then they're done. So, I don't know. If you guys got here, comment down below. Okay, listen to me. Listen to me, people. If you got this far, I want you to comment the word Big Chungus. If you got this far, I want you to say no. I want you to write Big Chungus Mehehe. Ooh, wow! Comment that if you got this far into the interview, and I'll know who my real people are. I'll know who my real friends are. Well, it's it'll be either a really good friend or a real Bendy fan because I think Bendy <laughs> fans would stick around. Yeah, Bendy fans will stick around. It, yeah, yeah. I'll, uh, Just... yeah. Just to see if I drop if a bomb I, if at I, the end. <laughs> if I like can... if I release some secret information at the very end, which I'm not gonna. Yeah, no, no, guys, don't don't take that. There's no hidden meaning behind that. What he just said. No, it's not. The most Joey you're getting out of this was that inspirational speech from like an hour ago. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's already been an hour since then, since That's I asked crazy. the final question of the interview. It's been an hour. <laughs> we've just been we've just been bouncing. Bouncing. We've just been bouncing. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Hey, I do have auditions for SpongeBob tomorrow. 
We're doing yeah. SpongeBob the Musical. Do you have to sing? Uh, yeah. What are you gonna sing? Uh, is it a song from the it's show? a song from the show. We have to sing the first thirty seconds of one of SpongeBob's songs. Should Let's I spend be, my uh, days floating around? <laughs> there is a who's the 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 evil dude in that plankton uh, plankton. There's a. I just did a, a showcase in San Diego, and um, one of the actors sang a song from that musical, and it was it's a fast song. I don't. I can't oh, remember. Oh, I name. I know like, I know what. Yes, yes, it's his rap. It's the rap that Plankton does. Yeah, this yeah, task force is for losers. I've got the yeah, perfect yeah, yeah, plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The while the yeah, going's yeah, yeah, getting yeah, yeah. tough, let's get out while we can. Yeah. Yeah, that's. See, lava oh is for losers. God. Well, blah blah, yeah. blah blah blah. Yeah, and then he that's did the. Ra I bet he did the rap part. I'm sure. Well, he that's... he played the character when that theater did the show. Oh. So what it was. You was don't know who I am, evil genius, yeah. giant brain. You think you can stop a volcano? I mean, are yeah, you yeah. all insane? <laughs> yeah. There's yeah, a part yeah. in the where they use the um the same tempo as. Uh, rap God by Eminem, and they just change the lyrics for Plankton. And it's very yeah, fast. That's a very impressive song. Well, good luck. Yeah. Break a leg. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for wishing me broken lower appendages. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Like I told my daughter, uh, break off your legs. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 one of my friends said break a leg, and I was like, or they said break legs, and I was like, how many do you think I have? Do I just have a co oh. do I have a tie rack in my closet, and every time I go to an audition, I grab a leg off the tie rack and grr. <laughs> And I was referring to Audrey in uh, the ending of uh, Dark Revival. Huh? Break off your legs. Oh. Uh. Audrey's legs at the end. Didn't oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> That was violent. Yeah, when when Bendy ripped off her arm, or no, the ship's Ahoy Dudley ripped off her arms. Spoiler alert! So you got to post like spoiler all over your like all over my face. Uh, uh, on yeah. The, on the <laughs> screenshot. Spoilers! Spoilers! Don't watch. Yes, it there's gonna. Be, but then that's gonna deter people from watching the video. I think. <laughs> They're going to be like, huh, I haven't seen the full game yet. I'm not going to watch this interview. And then they're going to forget about it once they finish the game. And then they're not going to see it. <laughs> well, you know, like me, I haven't played it, but I know the whole game. Yeah. Know, anyway. Because so. you were pretty much in it. <laughs> yeah, I was in it, but but I've watched so many playthroughs. You I mean, didn't I play the think... game. You were the game. <laughs> yeah, I didn't freak out in the room with all the spider mouths. Oh, like, God, everybody. not that. <laughs> oh, not 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 King Widow. Ah, uh. <laughs> King that the Widow King was terrifying. Yeah, yeah, that was intense. That was in very intense fight because the music was so loud I couldn't hear the friend that I had in a call with me telling me what to do. I couldn't hear them, so I was screaming, "I can't hear you!" <laughs> Just running yeah. from baby spiders. <laughs> yeah, that that stuff freaks me out. That was really that was really but, creepy. And, and and that honestly, that's when I have to like set the game down and like <laughs> I like I'm done. And you're like, like right. I just I got. This not, is okay, this I'm, is why I think that is... it would be difficult on console for these fast-paced moments where you have to run away and fight at the same time. For, no, for me that would be easier. Cuz I'm really good with WASD spacebar shift. I, yeah, no. I need e. joysticks. I just started playing this new game with my aunt and her boyfriend last night cuz they got it for me for Christmas. I've been Oh, it's not a new game. It's new for me. I've been playing Valheim. Uh it's a Viking game. It's pretty cool, um, and I just—I was just spent last night learning the game and already making sacrifices in the game. <laughs> I had to—I had to kill a pig that we were trying to tame because it was glitched and it couldn't tame, and its name was—I had named it already because I thought we were gonna tame it and keep it as a pet. Its name was Pumbaa. And I thought it was gonna live, and then I had to do yeah. the I had to do the deed and kill him. You had to eat it. I had to kill him, and I I put his his remains in a chest with a sign on it that said Pumbaa. <laughs> Cause I get emotionally attached to things, literally the dumbest things. I'll get emotionally attached to them, like 
this little box that had an Amazon gift card that's just shaped like Santa. I've had this since Christmas. It's an Amazon oh, gift wow. card box. <laughs> but did you spend the Amazon yet? I did, I did. So okay, the fact, yeah, yeah, so no, the fact that I just showed the, the code doesn't mean anything. <laughs> no yeah, one's going to no, steal my money. Here, guys, if That's you hard. watched this far into the video, here's a hundred bucks. <laughs> wow. Dang. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I was just in a musical uh, before Christmas break. You may have heard of it. It's called Something Rotten. It's uh, it's kind of it's a, it's a, it's a play on Hamlet. It's a it's a joke. It's a Shakespeare yeah, 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 joke. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. It's about eggs. Um, and, and something rotten. It's omelet instead of Hamlet. It takes place in the Renaissance with Shakespeare, and there's this guy named Nick Bottom who's trying to make a play that stands out from Shakespeare. So he goes to a fortune teller and he tells him, musicals will be the big hit in theater. So you must make a musical. <laughs> and I played the character who opens the show, who sets the scene in the Renaissance. Uh, the minstrel is what he was called. And I also... Was that at your school or something? Yes. And I was also the announcer at Shakespeare's party. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Stratford-upon-Avon, the king of cutlets, the sultan of sonnets, the man who put the I am in iambic pentameter, please put your hands together for the one, the only, William Shakespeare! <laughs> but see, like, I thought you told me, like, you, you weren't, like, all that into acting or theater or being creative or anything like that. Well, that was before, like, seventh grade, is that oh. I wasn't into that stuff. And then once I okay. was in Beauty and the Beast, I fell in love with it. And I've been in shows yeah. almost every year since. But my freaking high school drama teacher won't cast me in things, because she tells me, quote, you're not really made for adult theater, you're made for children's theater stuff. She told me that I'm not a good serious actor, pretty much. That I'm only really good at, like, children's theater. Like, doing, like, like how I did Beauty and the Beast or Junie B. Jones the Musical or, like, kind of childish things like that, she said, is what I'm good at. And so she hasn't well, really cast me in any serious shows. Yeah, just uh, I keep did... doing whatever it is you want to do and, and it'll all come. I've and as I've you only... get older... I've been in one, like, serious role, and that was, uh, I played Rich in Be More Chill, uh, which was really fun. You might have actually heard about that performance. It was all over, like, national news. Our show, about a week from performances, or about after opening night, got canceled, and it got shut down, and all the actors from Broadway were, reached out to us and were like, hey, we're sorry that your show got shut down and Joe Iconis the creator of the show reached out to us and was like here uh he sent us cookies and signed our playbills and uh we got to have a uh a zoom call with uh what's his name J uh who plays Michael in the Broadway cast uh I can't think of his name wait one sec why can't I think of the guy's name uh who plays Michael in Be More Chill? Uh, George Salazar. I got to sit down and we got to sit down and meet George Salazar. And that was pretty wow. cool. Um, that is and cool. then the show got uncancelled because the board got put on so much pressure, so much media blast that they said, okay, have your show back. And we got to bring it back for three more shows. Oh wow, that's cool. Yeah, it was pretty. So yeah, awesome. just 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 keep just keep auditioning or pursuing whatever you want to do, and some of it you'll get. Some of it will lead to something else. Yeah, that you had no idea uh, or huh? even sure. thought of. Okay, sorry, that was my dad. <laughs> hey, Tell dad. He <laughs> Joey Drew says hello. <laughs> <laughs> He says hi to you. Hello, Joey Drew. <laughs> hello, Dad. He just said hello, Dad. <laughs> 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 
In the voice, yes. I'll send you the clip of that, don't worry. Awesome. Alright. Oh, oh, okay. No, not you, Dad, not you. Go away, go away. You can't hear this, go. Okay, this is... Okay. So my dad is the... Um, runs a really big... Um, do you know the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the football team? He is one of the owners of the biggest Tampa Bay Buccaneers uh, fan base in on the planet. Like over like 500 over like over like 5 million people I think are part of it or like 50,000 people or it's something with a 5 in the front of it and he has people from out of the country he has people five. in every single state like he's one of the original nine creators so I was just wondering if Joey Drew could say uh uh go Tampa Bay uh love you buckaholics or something like that that's what they call themselves the buckaholics just like you go, Buckaholics! <laughs> well, you know, whenever I'm in Tampa Bay, I like to get together with my Buckaholics. Yes! <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. I'll send him that. I'll send him that. He'll love it. You're getting an allowance. <laughs> He's gonna start paying me now. Thank yeah, you. Nice. <laughs> good. Good. <laughs> Commission. We need a little bit of that green in our life. <laughs> Was that better? I think I just did the voice pretty well right there. Yeah. Once you once you relax. We need right. a little bit of that green. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Let it, let it let it resonate down in here. We need a little bit of that green here at Joey Drew Studios. Yeah. <laughs> well now now you're gonna go on your playthroughs and you're gonna be like, yeah, I'm. I'm gonna play through as now Joey I'm gonna Drew. say got, it more. Now I'm gonna personal, be. I got, I got personal, personal master lessons. class. I got a master yeah, yeah, yeah. class. I'm yeah. gonna be like, I'm gonna say this more accurately now. Yeah. I'm Joey Drew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> more accurate version of my rant. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have to go listen to Will Da Games version too. Yeah. Oh yeah, because uh, so you uh, did you hear the song or not? I don't remember what the I, conclusion was. If you heard it, I listened to so much of his stuff, and I know he's just had some recent releases this week. So I gotta, I, I may have heard some of it. You def, it's uh, the animation too on that one is so beautiful. Like there's yeah. this part of Joey where he's like fading into memory and ink, and it's the most beautiful thing with the most powerful part of the song, and it's so good. Yeah, I gotta and watch that. And it has like Audrey crying golden tears. Ah, oh, you got it. Wow. You got it. You got to You got to watch it. Yeah, he does good work. I sent you the link to it in our chat. Okay. It's, oh yeah, cool. It's also uh, CG Five is the main singer in it. I don't know if you've yeah, ever yeah. heard his music before. Yeah. He's incredibly talented. I met him in real life. Uh, I got to hug him and talk with him for a little bit, and he signed my shirt. He's he's a really cool guy. He's a really sweet guy. Yeah, I gotta watch this. Yeah, it's so good. Even the thumbnail looks really cool. Yeah, the thumbnail looks great. Yeah. I'm gonna have to check it out. Definitely. <sighs> See if he did your voice justice in a singing version. <laughs> well, it, I gave him, you know, I gave him a rundown on how to do the voice. Oh, well, did you? So was, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe yeah, he yeah. did that for the song. He's like, yeah. hey, without telling you, he's making a song singing as you. He's like, hey, just so you, can you help me with this voice? A little well, bit? that's that's when we were fanboying off each other. When I was oh. fanboying off of his did whistle. He, did he tell you how Grant's to do the Grant voice and, the voice? Did he give you some he, Grant lessons? He was telling me he, how he learned and how he couldn't get it at first, but then he got it and... I couldn't do it, but but then I was breaking down Joey for him, and that's when he was like, "Oh wow, yeah, this is cool." Oh, wow. <laughs> He's like, "Oh wow, this is pretty cool." <laughs> 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 and then you both start talking like Joey, and then you just kind of. <laughs> no, he's 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 a really cool guy, and oh and my definitely... god, wait, wait, three, two, one, we've been recording for three hours. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Now we got to put a thing in for the guests. Like, if you've made it this long, if you've made I'm gonna, it, I mean, we did big, the we did the Among Us mehehe. I'm gonna put the, the chungus. chungus for me because I've made it this long. 
Are you gonna type that in the chat in my video? You're gonna reply to my video on YouTube when it posts. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna say yeah. big chungus man. <laughs> I know. I'm just gonna put. I actually. I cheated. I just skipped to the end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna yeah. write that? <laughs> man, uh, uh, I just skipped to the end. You're gonna man, uh, uh. the official Dave. It's gonna say like Dave Revis voiceovers or whatever your channel's called, and it's gonna say I just skipped to the end. <laughs> like no, nah, that man, was my hologram man. in the interview. <laughs> yeah, I can't man, afford man, to man. be there. Hang in there, Carl. <laughs> Carl. Poor Carl, man. Poor Carl. Oh, poor Carl. Poor Carl. And then you hang in there, Carl. I don't know if you've heard of llamas with hats. That's an old thing. You should look up llamas with hats. It's so disturbing, but also so funny. And it's like, Carl. <laughs> Carl, why is there a dead human in our house? <laughs> It's so gotta, funny. Gotta... You look up llamas with hats. It's so good. There's like 13 episodes and they're each like four minutes long. <laughs> and it's just this story that just gets, this narrative that gets weaved with two llamas with hats. <laughs> oh, only, oh, oh only, only OGs will remember that. Like people on my channel will know it maybe, but oh, llamas with hats was so good. <laughs> Carl, oh, that shit. kills yeah. people. <laughs> and then Carl's like, oh, hey, how did he get here? <laughs> um, He's like, what did you do to this person, Carl? He's like, I've never seen them before in my life. He's like, what did you do when you got home? He's like, well, this guy walked in, and so I walked downstairs. Uh-huh. And I walked into the living room. Uh-huh. And I saw the guy, yeah, and I stabbed him 37 times in the chest. Carl, that kills people! Oh, hey, I did not know that. How could you not know that, Carl? <laughs> and that and that animation looks kind of creepy, too. Yeah, it's kind of Salad Fingers kinda, vibes. I don't know if you know Salad yeah, Fingers. Kind of nightmare-y. Yeah, it's, it's really funny, though. Did you finish your orphan meat dragon, Carl? Is that the surprise? <laughs> you want to know one voice impression that I have m pretty much mastered? You know, Very true. <laughs> you know, you know, you know Jimmy Neutron. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. you know Carl Weezer from Jimmy Neutron. Yeah. Are, wait, I don't. I don't know if I have the the falsetto for it. Are you going to finish that croissant? Jimmy's. Yeah. Oh, I don't have the voice for it right now. Jimmy's mom. Jimmy's yeah, no, that's... mom. <laughs> yeah, if no, I that's can't really good. have your mom, no one can, Jimmy. <laughs> that's really good. That's really good. Mort, I cannot move it to move it anymore. <laughs> that was King Julian. <laughs> Mort, I cannot move it to move it. So what you gotta do is you gotta start uh, looking for audition pages and. Oh yeah, I'm on. There's this one called castingcall.com, which is really good. I do a lot of unpaid stuff right now. I've actually I'm actually in a few projects at the moment. I like to do uh, role play projects where I'm actively live playing a character, like in if I'm playing Minecraft, and I'm pretending to be this character and live role-playing them during the recording. I find that a lot of fun to do. But, yeah. I gotta, like, find an actual professional voice acting website so I can try and do things that I'll get paid for. I don't know. I don't know how I'd go about doing that, though. I'll you figure just, it out. Yeah, just search. You'll find them. I'll figure something out. Uh... I kind of feel like our our train is kind of starting to slow down, I think. <laughs> I think we're running a little low on energy. Did you did you have that final question or did we cover it? Oh, that was the inspiration one. Oh, um, was that the the deep one that you said the, was really, the, really, really, the really deep? The really deep one, yeah. What's your word of inspiration for people? 
Um, I did, so I kind of skipped a question to ask that, because when, when I said, will you answer it in a Joey Drew voice, and you were like, well, does it pertain to the question? And I was like, I, I th so I skipped a question to do that. <laughs> um, so I could ask you the Joey Drew voice question. This isn't a, the deep one, but I was going to ask if you have any other, like, big projects on the way, or other video games that you're working on, or other, like, voice, big voice acting projects that are on their way of any kind? Um, no, right now, I just, you know, I'm still kind of riding the, the dark revival wave, and yeah. I'm, re I'm rehearsing this, uh, musical here in San Diego, uh, Anything Goes. I want to try um, and come see it. If I, if I come see it, I'll, like, send you a message before, and see if I can get to see you in person and just be like, "Hey, what's up?" Oh, I, no, if if you come if you come see it, I, I, you will definitely see me and we'll hang out. But um, uh, I mean, yeah, we'll have to talk about that. I mean, I'm not like the lead character. Yeah, or anything no, like that. yeah, but uh, but um, but yeah, I'm rehearsing that. Like I said, I just recorded some more Star Trek last week. Some more mm -hmm. Captain Sean of the USS Enterprise F. Uh, that'll, that'll probably is, I don't know if it's coming out this week, probably this week. Cause they're really, really quick on There's, those, yeah. on those, ch on those releases. Um, I have some other casting things that are out there that I don't know if I got. Oh, yet, like roles you auditions yeah. you sent in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would so, you, if uh, you, that, if you had the chance to be in another horror game like Bendy, would you do that? Kind of like a scary game, to, like, what would you, like, I, I mean, Joey Drew is already kind of a villain, but I feel like by the game you played him in, he wasn't really a villain anymore. Do you, would you want to play, like, a big villain character in a game? Was that something you would want to do? Because I feel like absolutely. that'd be really fun. <laughs> Yeah, to play like absolutely. the big bad in a game, you know. Yeah, you know, and it and it again, it's kind of like the if you know if you're gonna play Joey Drew again, it's kind of not up to me. It's yeah. kind of like uh, if it's offered up, I'll definitely take it, uh, no matter what genre. Because I is. feel like I feel like voice acting is so much easier than like stage acting, just because you can fit some things around your own schedule. Like you can record from home for a lot of things, and you can just kind of send things in, and it doesn't take up all your time. If you're doing a musical like you're doing now, you have rehearsals, and you have like yeah. all this performances, and you have all your time, a lot of your time taken yeah. up, and you have rare days like these right now where you get to do yeah other things. Yeah, no, there's each different medium has its, you know, pluses it's, it's and perks. Yeah, it's perks and things that I like and things that I don't like so much or not that I don't like them. But, you know, sometimes things take longer uh, and uh, just in the process. But um, no, definitely if if I uh, I would love to do more horror games, I'd love to do more fantasy games. I, I I would even do. I would do if you. If I'm cast in a game, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. So no matter what genre it is, no matter what character it is. If I ever it, make a game, you're a top pick for any character of mine. If I ever yeah. develop a game, you're you're the first person I'd reach out to. Well, it sounds like you're well on your way. I'm to making doing things. That. <laughs> <laughs> I've made a few things already. You know, I. If I come to the show, can I bring you a copy of my novel? Do you think you would read it if I bring you a copy of my my published book? Cuz I have if, a bunch of copies at my house that I could just give you, out. If you people. autograph it to me. Yes, yes, yeah, of course. I autograph all the ones I give out. <laughs> <laughs> I've probably signed like 130 And, and it of has those. to be on video. You have to have uh, someone <laughs> film it with your phone. I have a video of me signing it. Yes. Yeah, and, yeah. and giving it to me and and then uh yeah. A video of me giving it to you, making a whole YouTube video. I gave Joey Drew a copy of The Illusion of Giving. Of <laughs> Schmivling. Uh, the, uh, yes, uh, The Illusion of Schmivling, of course. <laughs> I'm like the bougie Joey Drew. I'm, I like have a close to his voice, but not exactly. I'm like, I'm Moe Do, and I wrote The Illusion of Schmivling. <laughs> My Moe Do. Moe Do. <laughs> like Moe Do and the Illusion well, of Schmivling. <laughs> the, the nice thing about that is you have the voice of Moe Do down. Yes, perfectly. I have Moe Do. 
Joey Drew, you could, you're still it could seasoning use some it out a little bit, but Moe, you got Moe down. I think that the man. Joey Drew voice could use a little bit of work. Uh, hey, that wasn't bad. But I'm, I'm getting closer to figuring out this Joey Drew thing. And of course, like when I give you tips on how to do the Joey Drew voice, I'm kind of throwing some stuff in there that's keeping you really away from actually nailing it so I don't have to worry about being recast. <laughs> it's, it's called misdirection. <laughs> this is how you do it, okay? Misdirection. That's not how you do it. Not That's all. not how you do it at all, no. Let me see if I can get it. Okay, give me one big test line for Joey and I'll do it. Give me something to say and I'll try my best. I'll try my damnedest. Um... Say, uh, nothing's too good for our Joey Drew family. All right. <clears throat> nothing's too good for our Joey Drew family. <laughs> nothing's too good for our Joey Drew family. It's, 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 uh, it's, Moe sh Moe uh, Shmoo? Moe do. <laughs> Moe do? That's Nothing, all you. Nothing's too good for our Joey Drew family. You got you got the part. <laughs> I've been cast as Moe do. Moe do. Moe do. In the illusion of Schmivling. The illusion of Schmivling by Moe do. Should that be the name of this interview video? The illusion of Schmivling with Moe do. <laughs> That should be the title. <laughs> That's your show, man. I mean, whatever you want to do with it. Yeah. By the way, the name of the podcast slash uh, thing, interview thing, is... It, I See, I never expected to be interviewing someone from Bendy. It was always meant to be a Five Nights at Freddy's thing. So it's called uh, FNAF Fanatics. F-N-A-F for Five Nights at Freddy's, but FNAF Fanatics, like fanatic, but all one word. And it's kind of cool. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's all good. You know, you're doing you're doing great, man. Just keep doing what you're Fanatics. doing. Fanatics. And uh, and if you if you here here's the thing, if you keep doing what you are doing, uh, you'll be making video games, and you will be hiring guys like me to work for guys like you. If you keep doing <laughs> what you're doing. I'm I'm getting there. Maybe if I ever make like a like a real movie length audio drama. That's like full serious, full sound effect, like top notch. Then I yeah. could look to you. I could look yeah. to you for it. Yeah, I actually make those myself. That's like I just, that's I why just I, gotta, that's I just gotta. I like that, that you're doing them. I gotta find out your rates. <laughs> it's, it's like it's, ten yeah. bucks a word. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's up there. Uh, yeah, it's a lot more than ten bucks a word. <laughs> it's like thirty bucks a. It's you see here and. <laughs> Nothing's costs too. Nothing costs too little for our Joey Drew yeah. family. Yeah, no. <laughs> the more, the merrier when uh, money is concerned. That's what I say. <laughs> it's like a bit of Mr. Krabs' personality is in there with Joey, for the money. <laughs> <laughs> you see, per me, dirtle and daughter, there's nothing better than money when it comes to Joey Drew Studios. <laughs> <sighs> I feel like our steam, our steam locomotive for this interview is slowly, slowly slowing yeah. down. I've got, I've got little, uh, I got little doggies here that are. <gasps> Can I see calling doggies? Me. Can I see the doggies? Well, this is a little older doggie, and she doesn't. She's, uh, she probably doesn't want to be on camera. She's an older dog, and she's got a. She needs my my attention. That's why she's here. I have I have three cats and two dogs. I've got four dogs here. Are they all in the room with you? Have they been there the whole time? Um, yeah. There's one over here that's asleep on the pillow, and then one just came underneath me, and she's wanting my attention. <laughs> and then the there's another two. Uh, the one that's underneath me is a is an older Chinese crested. And uh, she needs help with everything. My dog that's asleep over here is Puppy, because she looks <laughs> like a. Go Her name is Puppy because she looks like a golden retriever puppy, but she's Aww. not. 
she's she's actually an older dog but she's asleep over there and then i have two um uh italian greyhounds that are in bed nice those they're are in big another dogs part. well no are these, are the, these are the these are the these are italian greyhounds so they're oh they're so they're the tiny. little version of they're the minis thing. yeah 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 we have a, a pitbull terrier and uh a morky which is a maltese yorkie mix and she's the queen the this cutest little thing but she's so so spoiled and demanding <gasps> oh baby <laughs> yeah this is millie Oh, Millie, the baby. She's a Chinese oh. crested. She's so she's, cute. She's a little older baby, and she has to wear pajamas because she doesn't have fur on her whole body, just on her head. Oh, she's that's, so cute. That, that's what Chinese cresteds are. We have uh, we have uh, three cats. There's a gray cat there who's a butthole, who is like the king of the neighborhood. When we moved here, all the stray cats bowed to him. Your um, cat's name is Butthole? No. His name is Sloan, named after the hospital in Grey's Anatomy. Um, oh. And then there's uh, there's Ginger, who's my kitty. Uh, she's a calico cat. Um, and then there's Masha, who's all black and very fluffy, but with white feet. So she wears little, she has like little socks. <laughs> and she's just a big ball of fluff. Yeah, these man, are, she these are she loves licking. She reminds me of my grandma's dog Starla. She'll yeah, she'll she'll go for hours like yes, in the morning. Yes, it's, it's my it's my my grandma's dog Starla passed away recently, but she uh was very similar. She was the most wanted the most attention, wanted the most gave the most love. Yeah, and I I haven't seen her for a while. She's been up in the house, so, so she's, she's happy uh, to see you. Yeah, she's she's appreciating dad right now. If you had to give her a Bendy version of her name, what would you think she would be called? Like in Bendy cartoons, if they were, if your dog was in a Bendy cartoon, what her name would be? Well, her name. This is Millie. Yeah. So in Ben, in the world of Bendy, she'd probably be Spilly <laughs> <laughs> or Spinny. And it'll be a little Billy's... dog with a tutu. <laughs> she would Spilly the Inky. Yeah. Spilly the and Bacon. She's, and she's got spots on, so it looks like she's got uh ink spilled on her <laughs> so she would be spilly spilly my baby girl that's my baby girl she's so cute yeah i and, love i love puppies and you know what when i record they're always here they're always in here. <laughs> they're, they're always in here they Sometimes seem like I, they're very quiet dogs yeah I, they uh i have to Sometimes, if they've been running around outside, or if they're panting, or something like that, is um, she is she blind in one of her eyes? Yeah, she is. In her left eye. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I because I saw her dead on, and I was like, that eye looks a little bit wonky. Yeah, that's why I say like she needs help with with a lot. So she kind of wandered in here. She wanders wanders around the house. She's and, uh, so cute. She she's so she's elderly, so she needs help. With a lot I of saw stuff. this video that was like our blind dog didn't know we moved the couch, and it's them um about to jump onto like where they think the couch is, and they just jump into a wall because the couch got moved. It was <laughs> it was sad. <laughs> I'll send you that video. Oh, dog, uh, blind. Dog doesn't know couch move. Oh my baby girl. That baby girl. Here it is. <laughs> Here, let me just pop this into your messages. Alright, well. I'll let you go, I think. We've had a, a very fun time here so far. Here at, here at Poetic Minecart Industries, we've had quite a fun time with Moby Doo, Joey Drew, and the illusion of schmiveling. And for now, we're gonna get in that jet truck and crash into Super Mario Bros. Yep. <laughs> we're gonna go say hi to Chris Pratt and cover him in ink. <laughs> And At also, and Seth Rogen and Jack Black will be there too. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. The Rock. The Rock will <laughs> also be there. The Rock will play Joey Drew in the live action movie. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that, Kevin that, Hart will be Henry yeah. Stein. <laughs> yeah, that's that's your casting. The that's, Rock. Yeah, the that's Rock is Joey Drew. Oh, with man. Just his, with his eyebrow acting. Like, like, I get that he's the most famous person in the world currently by statistics, actually. But he doesn't need to be in everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, especially the Joey Drew movie. Yeah. I no. mean, the Bendy movie. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's your movie. It would be nice to have a movie about Joey Drew rather than about Bendy. Starting well, at that... the birth of the studio and going to Well, yeah, descent. that's what I'm saying. With Like, you know, it's got to be game for that. that story and, and get all that history and all those, the, the, the relationship with Henry and everything and how that all went down and also sorry i didn't see your message that said we should wrap this up i didn't see that till now and that was a while ago i'm sorry <laughs> um yeah no just because these like it's late at night and this is when she starts roaming the halls if i don't like put her to bed and stuff yeah all righty well it is but we but we did a lot. We had a we had a good time. We three and a half probably, hours. We probably came up with enough material for a couple sequels, and yeah. a couple books, and, uh, and some <laughs> videos and stuff, and <laughs> some animations. Some yeah. Yeah. Some... And, and now you know what, uh, JT. And now we don't just have like a, a thing like that inside joke. We're we're buds now, right? So yeah, I think we're buds. Cool. I think we're friends. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, with a meh yeah. here and a meh yeah. there, here a meh there, so, <laughs> everywhere a meh. Oh, Joe, we so, drew uh, had a studio. We'll tell that to your... <laughs> so tell that to your Tampa Bay Buccaneers. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, Mr. Revis, for sitting down with me for three and a half hours of your time. Uh, this has been absolute amazing journey i think that i that we have made friends out of this night yeah 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 no we're cool i've planned um i've just i've th i've been thinking with some with uh my first guy that i interviewed we're like we've become friends too through our interview and before um we become co pretty close friends actually so we're planning on doing another interview a few years down the line after things have changed you know so yeah. maybe we can well, do the I same in the future yeah, and I think that's the way it goes. You know, when you do these talk shows and you have a good, uh, you have a good time. And yeah, just, and yeah. who knows what the future holds? Maybe I can get other of your, some of your Joey, some of Joey friends, your Bendy friends in on this. Yeah, <laughs> some of your well, Joey like, friends. Like I, like I say, keep doing what you do because you just hit me up and you pick whoever I, you want. And just hit them up like you did me. And, yeah, and, just just say, you know, hey! <laughs> next thing, you'll have their dogs licking their face on, on your computer. <laughs> exactly, exactly. All, All right. right. Dude, well, I've had a good time. Yeah, and, I've had um, an amazing time. This has been great. <laughs> good. Good. I. Uh, That's what you got to do. You interview hard and interview happy. Thank you, Joey. I'm gonna I'm gonna loop that motivational speech from an hour ago, like and just loop it in my and listen to it over and over again and just believe it. You gotta put like a little, uh, like a real faint under uh, score uh, of this music that's looping. The music that's the whole currently thing. looping, yes, that yeah. you can't hear and that you've never heard and that you yeah. may never hear. <laughs> but but I love it so much. It's so good, right? <laughs> I, Congrat like uh let me wait let me let me see what his discord name is and I can tell you to to say thank you for the music um DNC 343 thank you for the music today DNC 343 Wait a minute is that a combination to the door <laughs> You know I got to put the combinations here because Joey keeps changing them Four, so five, just, one. Four, four five, five, one. Four, five, one. That was, okay, that was so easy for me to remember because that's my Boy Scout troop number. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I know that number so well. Four, five, one. Four, five, one. Four, five, one. There. There. Did you do that voice? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't no, remember uh... what the actual guy sounded like, but. Yeah, he he's uh he's he's up in L.A. I think uh, I can't remember his name right now either. 
but he's he's another good guy. But yeah, I'll have to reach out to more of the Bendy cast because you guys are all so sweet. Like, yeah, I mean, I'm about yeah. to interview Sean if he says yes this week. Like, yeah, like you guys are awesome. It just yeah. takes a little confidence, you know. Yeah. I just had to yeah. have the guts to say, hey. Mr. Rivas, do you want to talk with me for for? Yeah. I didn't know how long this was gonna go on for. I wasn't sure if we'd click right away, but we definitely did. I think yeah. we bond. I think we bonded in the thirty minutes before recording when you couldn't talk. <laughs> that was when we first began to build our friendship. Yeah, yeah. I gotta write a letter to Discord. <laughs> Get a file an official Dis complaint. Disc this is Joey Drew of Joey yeah. Drew Studios. You need to get your shit together, Discord. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe next time. From we'll one business, from one businessman <laughs> to another. <laughs> that should be your next interview with the engineers at uh, Discord. At Discord, <laughs> like, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> oh boy! All right. All right, man. Yeah. Well, uh, we'll see what happens next. We'll see what happens next. Yeah. There, there may be a sequel. Possibly. <laughs> to this or something else. Or something else. Maybe a game in the future. Maybe an audio project that I could hire him for when I have a job to make enough money to hire him. Yeah. Forty <laughs> bucks a word. Ah. <laughs> Oh, it's raining. You say like Rain. three words in the whole thing. Oh, wait, all you say in it, here's a cameo. Just, I'm Joey Drew. <laughs> meh. Yeah. And that's it. That'll be $120. Does each <laughs> meh, does each meh cost, does each ha cost 40 bucks? So if I have you go meh, that's like an extra like 80 bucks, uh, that, 120 that, bucks. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not my rates that's what the agent worked out so i mean i think you're worth that you're worth more oh, than oh, man that. you're worth more okay, than that yeah yeah then you definitely gotta uh then you definitely gotta write a video game so you can hire me for yes definitely more than that <laughs> yes hopefully more than i'm joy drew <laughs> hopefully a little bit more than that but this is this has been really really nice, <laughs> like awesome, dude. And you know what you know what the worst part is about this whole thing, is when we're done. This has been so nice that when we're done, you're gonna play it back over and over and over. And over it's gonna be so sad. I, it's gonna be so depressing. I'm just sitting here in my chair, like, oh, Mr. Rivas, where did you go? <laughs> Yeah, no, I yeah, I do it like uh, with the Joey Drew music video. Like you just I, listen I, to it on repeat. Well, when I when I when I cut together the audio version of it before it got animated and I shared it finally with the rest of the cast and the animators, um, like I was I had it on loop and my driving around in my car listening. Okay, yeah, 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 this is all good. Does does yeah. your Logitech camera zoom or did you or is it close to your face? Cause mine doesn't zoom. I don't it, it's close, it, but it can, it can go in and out. Can it? What? How? How? What? Well, there's a there's like a control app that comes with it, or you maybe you can download it and you can control it from from there. I would have had it more zoomed in if I had known this, <laughs> cause I'm so zoomed out. You can see my whole room. Yeah. No. On on mine, there's uh, yeah, it's just an app. And then it it run the camera runs through it so it, it and it can pan left and right and up oh, and down. I wish I knew about there this it goes ahead up. of time. And now it's going down. It can go this way. Oh, that's oh! I need it to figure this, this out. Way. I I need to figure out how to do that. <laughs> and it has like a. Uh, can zoom in. Do you have to have the app open for that? Well, yeah, I'm controlling it on the app right now, and then when it's what's uh, the what's the name of the app on? What does it say? Well, it's it, it, it's, it's on the actual. Just go to the Logitech website, and you can download the okay. control app. All right, I'll have to do that now. All right. Well, this is the third time I've said this. This has been really fun. Yeah, this has, and uh, I, thanks again. You know, I had a good time. Oh shoot! And it was I, nice I, meeting. I, I accidentally messed up the centering on the video. Ah. 
<laughs> yeah, it was very nice meeting you. Um, this was a lot of fun. Um, I've said now four times, but um, thank you so much for doing this with me. Like, ah, it's just very inspiring to be sitting talking with one of my favorite voice actors for three whole hours and being able to pretty much call him a friend it's yeah, it's nice no, no, it's nice we're, we're, we're friends we're friends we're, we're buddies we're friends i don't know if we'll ever we're, really hang out or talk outside of a professional state but we're friends with an inside joke so that's something you know what that's more than just friends if we didn't have an inside joke then it wouldn't be it wouldn't be as special <laughs> but we do <laughs> We have an inside joke, and that's pretty cool. <laughs> so, uh, okay, we'll see what happens next. We'll see what happens next. All right. All right, brother. All right. Thanks for everything. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk to you when we do it again. Uh, yeah, when we do this again someday, we shall we shall speak again. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in on your face, and I want you to say goodbye to everybody. Well, it's been a, it's been a lot of fun, but I gotta go. So this is Joey Drew. Actually, no, this is Dave Rebus, <laughs> the voice of Joey Drew, saying, "I'll see you next time." Don't forget to <laughs> subscribe to the Poetic Minecart. <laughs> <laughs>